Everyone, yeah. let's uh, let's uh, we can hey. do a quick little sound check. Everyone's talking. Hello, yeah. hello, hello. Hi. Excellent. Sound check. One, one, two, two. Yeah. We 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 had this issue last time, pal. It's like the two. That's why Sub's got the two headphones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys, yeah. you guys hear yeah, yeah. this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oops. Oh. <laughs> mm. Down under. Oh again. my oh. god. <laughs> <laughs> quick little visit there we go. to Australia. Continuity. Whoa. All right. Cool. All righty. GG. Let's go. Easy clap. <laughs> <laughs> Australian pal nice. for a second. All right. <laughs> nice. All right. All righty. Well, Amistad, you're the you're the maestro here. Oh, pff, apparently. Jeez. Uh, okay. Welcome back to uh, Four Guys, One Beard. Nah. <laughs> uh, welcome to Cursed Words, the new name. We, we landed on a name finally Yay. after uh, advertisers censored us. Uh, for three guys, one Atlas. <laughs> um, but we made it. We made it. Uh, we're kicking off your pre 3.20 podcast. We've got special guest Palstron. Thanks for coming on, Palstron, uh, for uh, for the pre 3.20 podcast, even though I said that already. <laughs> Yo, thank you for having Thanks me. For What's up, boys? No, we're, we're glad hey. to have you. Um, you. You took the place of the box that said Sniz slash Cats. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's an honor. A, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a big honor, yeah. It is it an upgrade really though? Close. Let's be real. <laughs> this has to come back, dude. I miss cats cats and snizz are pretty cute. <laughs> it was uh, really close though between you and the just a montage of subs cats. So <laughs> fair. I'll take that, dude. I'll take it. Yeah, it was close. Um, but I think let's uh, let's just kick it off here. And uh, I mean, there's a lot to break down in uh, in this. There's a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Um, obviously, we're coming off of the roller coaster of 3.19. Uh, wait, to what? Say the least. Yeah. Wait, wait. What happened? 3.19. <laughs> I've blacked out for the last three months. I don't know what's yeah. going on. I don't know if this happened for you guys, but I feel like this league just really snuck up on me. 3.20. Like I just, I don't know what. I, I've just been kind of like out of it for a month. Just totally. I've been playing a lot of Overwatch too. Um, and hating my life, but fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's been this. This one kind of snuck up on me out of nowhere, to be honest. Um, yeah, I feel so. you. I've been playing Counter Strike, and uh, I don't know. It's a blur. Actually, subtracts my read those Mistborn books. Those were so good. You yeah, need to oh. give me another recommendation. Nice. So, the, the lore, the long term lore between the podcasts. Yeah, because I think we mentioned yeah. it in the previous one. I'm glad oh, that I you're liking it. it. So yeah, that's what long I've been doing. Lore. Reading books. <laughs> Like a nerd. <laughs> Excellent. Dude, that's so I was weird. I was Green blasting books. Torchlight. <laughs> yeah. I was torchlight. Blasting blasting torchlight. Did you like it? I mean, I had like 400 hours in fucking, I don't know, Ooh. like 30 days or something. <laughs> Jeez. So, yeah, kind of. Yeah. No, so, so yeah, like, <laughs> it's like those Steam reviews, like 8,000 hours played, would not recommend. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah. No, yeah, the game was exactly. really fun. Yeah, yeah it looked nice. really cool. Enjoyed watching Pelstron play it. No. Nice. Uh, so let's just jump right in here. I think the first thing really on the list is obviously the league mechanic here for 3.20 is is kind of one I think a lot of people have been maybe not expecting, but uh, anticipating, I would say, um, is this sort of roguelike league mechanic. Um, you go one room at a time, you can save up to eight. So one floor, uh, different, you know, there's different mods, positive and negative to make your run uh, improve. There's a lot of sort of depth there. So Personally, it looks really cool to me. I know, uh, Local, I was watching you during the uh, the reveal stream, and this was something I know you definitely were anticipating. I was so excited. I When I saw the trailer, this is pretty much exactly what I pictured, but they went above and beyond, at least with the announcement, shall I say. Because Lake of Calandra, when I saw that, I was like, this is amazing. This is so cool. It looks so like complex and in-depth. And we got to it, and it wasn't really. But this one looks kind of a lot more complex and more interesting. The kind of league that I have, I think a lot of us have been wanting something a bit more in depth. So I really just hope it plays as good as it looks. But we're gonna have to wait and see. How about you, Palseron? Are you stoked for the new league? The mechanic? Um, about the league mechanic, I'm super stoked, yeah. Okay, uh, nice. I love Hades, I love Darkest Dungeon, all the mainstream roguelikes, yes. right? I really like. Um, so I, I was really, really hyped to see it, yeah. So uh, we'll have to see how good it is, though. The one thing I love that they did is the account-bound item. It basically oh, yeah. means that even if it's not like economically viable to run, you still have to run it. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 so that's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, true. 
Yeah. Like it, it kind of gives me like old school nostalgia about just sitting there for three days farming one damn item, right? Like it's it's for some reason it's different for me than farming for currency and then buying the item. I don't know why. I like it way oh, more. Yeah. Way more. Yeah. yeah. It's it has a lot more if it was tradable and then it, it just kind of becomes like another item, you know, that you that you add on to your build. Whereas this is more like there's a lot more room for experimentation and playing around with different things because it's like you're not going to probably hit the item. You know what I mean? You're not going to get the sanctified relic that is perfect for you. I mean, you might, but more likely than not, you're going to have to kind of experiment with different options and things. And we haven't seen the full breadth of the effects. Right. But uh, yeah. I think it'll be interesting to see how you can essentially take pressure off different slots and make different maneuvers based on that because it's not just going to be something again you can just buy and slot in the perfect item for your build of the time you have to kind of work around it a little bit mm. which will be cool by the way did they reveal when we start dropping these relics is it like during leveling already or is it only end game because i can just imagine getting plus one strike while leveling or something it's like oh <laughs> my god all of, I all of the relics too. yeah all the relics that they've shown yeah. so far have uh min level 60. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Six, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, looked yeah, at, yeah. I looked at that. Yeah, yeah. Good I thought dude. about that too. I was like, hollow palm leveling about to be cracked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> Would be sick. I know, Sub, you're a big roguelike guy yourself. So I'm a huge ro imagine. roguelike guy. Yeah, yeah. I have like, <laughs> in the pa in even just like the past two years, we were looking at it, like between Slay the Spire and the Hades and all that. I have like, I probably have like over a thousand hours in roguelikes. Like, pretty easily so yeah the mechanics yeah. for me um yeah i mean if we just stay on the topic of just the mechanics yeah and i think uh in regarding the sanctified relic which is the account bound one that works uh only very specifically for um like for everything like the one that you can have that's mm -hmm. really powerful the interesting yep. thing there is like how build enabling they get right because we oh, saw yeah. the we saw the one with the lethe shade and aura Stone, effect yeah. in aoe right like <laughs> I could just Ellie see overload. Like, if, yeah, if you Ellie, can get the, like Ellie overload or something, Jesus, how insane, right? It, but like, it's yeah. gonna be so build enabling where it's like, yeah. all right, here's my YouTube video of this cool build. You can't have it. <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> like, the, like, if it's so build enabling, it's like, yeah, this is literally the only build that can exist. Unlike, unless you get super mm -hmm. lucky and you get your own. Yeah. So that'll be that'll be a uh, interesting tension. It's just like free power to some degree. Yeah. No matter what, right? Like an, which another is, item which is... slot on your character. Yeah. It's so rare, I feel like, that we end up in a situation where we get basically just a, a pure plus, right? There's no downside to having that for the most part, mm -hmm. right? So it's kind of, I, I can't even think of the last time we've had something quite like that, to that degree where they're just like, yep, you just get this and that's it. Uh, you it, get it kind of feels like, aura. yeah, yeah it, can, it kind of feels like compensation for having worse items overall since the crafting changes happened and stuff like that, right? That's so, what I was thinking too. Sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll yeah. Take it. It is for this league only, though. They did specify that. I mean, maybe, you know, uh, as things evolve, that might change, too. But I, that's, they did mention that pretty explicitly, which is, again, another rare thing. They never really say, this is just for this league, uh, you know, <laughs> at the very at, before the patch has even launched, you know. Uh, I mean, it's probably so standard. Decision. Yeah, it's probably so standard players aren't uh, yeah, yeah. annoyed when they farm all league, right? And then it's uh, although yeah. what is going to happen to standard? Yeah, wait, are they no. going to get an extra slot wait like, what happens when i don't you think rip to standard right now does this even make <laughs> it to standard in general like does this i don't I think so think it did. it'll okay. be like okay. probably like sentinel yeah. right sentinel is yeah exactly delete all of them all right all right, all right yeah, yeah. that's yeah, what i imagine it's going to yes. be too yeah i mean i i think that they ggg has stopped asking themselves that question after the divine orb change how will this yeah. affect standard <laughs> yeah no <laughs> <laughs> I love you got to diversify out of your Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, diversify. <laughs> you, you guys should have had 25 million fusings. What were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> hey, those are going oh, away too, now. right? What? On fusings? Aren't those, are those going to be oh, in PoE too? Yeah. I, I thought I no, know. right? Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know. But maybe anyway, so that's we'll talk about that in like three years. We'll get <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, 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 we'll get there. We'll get there. But yeah, I think that the mechanic looks really fun. I think it'll be really good. Uh, a really good thing to experiment with. I was very happy when they announced that you could save them too. Because uh, yes. yeah, bouncing back and forth every single room is kind of a little bit. Uh, I wish you could save even abrupt. more. Like you could save yeah. Yeah. like four, a like a sanctum. full. Yeah, that would be huge. Because eight maps with with a lightning warper, that's like a minute or something, right? So it's I'm like... kind of surprised. Yeah, I was kind of surprised they didn't take the route that they've kind of been taking with, you know, like tablets, mir you know, mirrored tablets and Alva temples where you itemize them, save them and you can run them at your, at your leisure. I was kind of yeah. surprised they didn't take that route. Um, but maybe there is some 
maybe there is some technological reason for that. I, I, I don't know. Um, because this seems mm. like very in line with that sort of idea, right? You're, you have like basically the tablets, same, same concept, right? You're building out, yeah. uh, like a, a map essentially room by room. Um, and then you save it, but then there's a reason why that this is sort of like that, but then you can't, maybe it's the different floors or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, mm. but I'm just speculating here. I, I just thought it was interesting because it kind of fits that mold. One thing I want to say though, right away, because a lot of people apparently didn't catch that in the Q and A, Chris said that, um, the whole resolve bar, right. Um, mm -hmm. because people were saying, oh, ranged meta again, ballista meta again, or whatever. You take less resolve damage when you're next to the enemy Closer. than when you're farther, mm -hmm. like the farther away you are, the more resolve damage you take, which is kind of to counteract the fact that melee otherwise would be shit, right? So yeah. that's just something I wanted to say because a lot of people have been like kind of sleeping on that. Oh yeah, yeah. no, that's a big, it's a big change. Just huge. Or a big, yeah, yeah. a big uh, uh, solution, I should say. Um, yeah, all right. I mean, Others... like... Uh, Oh, are those sorry. going to be tradable, by the way? The the Sanctum flaws that you save up, or is it going to be account bound? They're probably going to be account bound, right? I don't think it's true. I would be su very surprised if it was yeah, tradable. Yeah, I'd be surprised if it's tradable. There's probably like a, a separate box or something that you... I don't even... Did they mention that it was itemized? Maybe it's not itemized. No, I don't think oh, yeah, it's I itemized. Didn't. That's true. Yeah, yeah, they didn't. I don't think they did. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. I, again, considering the, the theme of this expansion uh, has been very, this is not tradable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I would be surprised if they were like, oh, you can actually trade the rooms and the floors. Um, yeah. That would also kind of make it like, like Nini just said, it would kind of, kind of make it weird. Right. Cause otherwise you just buy like the rooms that you need to get yeah, the relics. Yeah. Cause it's probably going to be on there. Right. Yeah. So I'm glad it's purpose. not. I'm glad it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, so I guess, Besides the league mechanic, which is obviously a big, big factor of this, uh, there's a lot of other things that are going, uh, that are changing, I should say. I mean, where to begin, honestly? Um, fractured orbs? I think fractured orbs. We can hit fractured orbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick us off. Fucking crazy. This is so cool. <laughs> Actually insane. Like, just. I definitely like the shift back into Harbinger a little bit. Yeah. My Atlas Maybe. Free is like Harbinger. All right. It's yeah. <laughs> It was such a clever change, right? They made Harbinger relevant again and then took some pressure off Harbors. So, win-win. Mm -hmm. How rare do you think they're going to be? Some people are saying oh, Exalt they're... Shards. I think it's going to be way mm. rarer than an Exalt Shard, right? It, it's going to be Sacred or level, I think. Like, times Sacred? three or what? something. Rad. Oh, I mean, uh, I for, for one shard? <laughs> no, uh, oh, for one shard uh, versus an Exalted Shard, like, five times as rare. Yeah, maybe okay. maybe five times as rare, yeah. That's kind I mean, of how much I'd were... Say. I mean, the fracture, what on average was like four or five divines last league, yeah. something like that, three to five divines. So, yeah, that checks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that checks. It's about the same. So, I believe that it seems cool. Uh, I think people were definitely disappointed that the no divine shards, but I and then Chris's answer, of course, just <laughs> fucking memed it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sort of cancel of his, yeah, we've got yeah. that. I, I do mean, think it, there was a, oh, sorry, uh, it, it's huge as well because it takes pressure from the seeds as well from the harvest like a, a lot of the currency is uh econ economy wise is based around the best use case right and for blue that was kind of fracture right if i remember correctly so um that's also huge also kind of nice mm. i i did think that when chris said that he did open himself up to the inevitable comment of make chaos orbs stack higher than 10 which i am a proponent of uh <laughs> i i don't the 10 stack feels low Duh. to me um yeah. so i don't i i I don't, you know, that's a small thing, neither here nor there. It's not a big deal. But like, uh, it's like when you say that and then, okay, well, maybe make the chaos orb stack a little bit bigger if we're going to be expected to trade them. So true, yeah. big true. Um, so I guess moving down the line here again, we again, there's so much in this patch. I think let's let's hit on the Atlas tree revamp here. So uh, there's a lot to unpack there. Um, Biggest ones to me seemed mainly uh, the boss. I think the boss point that they made was really spot on, where essentially, you know, uh, you'd have to basically redo your entire tree to go boss, then you'd have to go back to mapping. And it was kind of like this weird, uh, you, you had to basically unmake your entire Atlas tree, or at least a large percentage of it, every single time you wanted to switch up modes. Um, I did think it was a bit alarming when they were talking about the, you know, removal of these nodes that are both 
plus to power, but also plus to rewards. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I can't remember the name of the node, but it's the one where, you know, you get an additional guardian and they can drop their frag. Like, that's gone temporarily, at least. Um, but there's been a lot of things that have been gone temporarily. So, uh, and and I don't know what, where they are. <laughs> temporarily but, um, forever. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. in the Void League. Um, but uh, that is a little concerning. So, I guess, Sub, what did you, what did you think about that piece? Uh, I actually think that's similar to in line with what they're doing. I think you're at... muted. Oh, am I? Uh... Yeah, you are muted. Am I? Oh muted? god, I don't know how long have we've we been, been ignoring. Wait, oh my did, god, did we, we just talk? You? Wait, did, did oh, we talk no. over sub? I was like, yes, man, sub's been pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah, I was oh, like, no. wait. Man. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's god. this. It's the it's the second it's mic. This. For people in chat. So, oh, oh wait, did we just wait? Did we just like bulldoze you when you were trying to talk? They couldn't hear me. They couldn't hear me. Yeah, so, no we, go. we just talked over him all the time. The, oh my these God. these headphones, these headphones are uh, they go to bed God, once in a while. Yeah, so oh good bullied. <clears throat> well, hold right, on. Let's, let's 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 pause then for one second. No, we're good. We're and good. we'll put a pin in this. <laughs> what, what, what did you say before that we missed? <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm zoned out. I'm double fisting coffee right now, and okay. uh, I'm just enjoying listening to you guys talk anyway. <laughs> um, right. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. I think um, regarding the Atlas change. Yeah, losing the power kind of sucks. Like it, I think actually a theme of a lot of these changes, and we're gonna get to it when it gets to the curse stuff, um, which is obviously good. that's gonna be my big topic. Is uh, they're kind of smoothing things out. Like I, they, I think a big big theme is reducing complexity of choice with what you're doing. Like tr trying to make everything like bring up some of the, like the really weaker stuff. Like harbinger is absolutely trash, but also you know take some of the pressure off of harvest and like. Or, or like, hey, if you're bossing, you're a big bosser. And like, if you want to do bossing, um, you have to be a bosser. And like, you know, ad, due to the way the economy works, like those Uber Elder Fragments are priced as as if you already have like a full investment, right? Like that's that's the way that is priced for the economy. So if you run it without the plus 10 Watcher's Eye chance, then it's just not worth as much to you personally if you run it. And I think they're just trying to like even that out to incentivize players to engage with the content instead of like fully min maxing into like specific stuff at least you're like hey if i like right now if i see a harbinger i'm just walking past it <laughs> like that that's just something that i'm not even gonna do right i mean one big one big factor that i think they realized is this whole it was the same with the keystone right what's what was the keystone called again where you take infinite inevitable damage? ambush yeah no the on, on the atlas passive tree the the keystone that got reworked Infinite. Rath oh, Wrath of the Cosmos. Wrath of oh, the Cosmos, right. right? Yeah, yeah. They removed Wrath of the Cosmos. They're gonna remove some of the like harder content. They also like inevitably nerfing curses also means that um, mob curses are gonna get weaker, right? Don't forget that. I think overall, um, they're kind of reducing a little bit of the reward incentive for making stuff harder because you can't really do that in PoE, right? Like Wrath of the Cosmos, we saw people would throw it on even though they have like 4k hp no defensive because they have to because it makes more currency right so i think stuff like that only works in games where you can fail right like you you have a stage and you can fail at mm -hmm. level eight and then you go back to level one you can't do it in poe you just throw your corpse against it and make more currency which is super awkward right so i think that's why they want to kind of shy away from that that makes yeah, a lot I mean, of sense right what if maps yes. only had one portal Oh, Ooh, don't, oh, don't even joke about that. Don't even joke about oh, that. Oh, that'd be a different game. Dude, I, I liked your mic better when it was muted, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is better when it was three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got man. my coffee. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think this would be a very, very different game. A lot of things would have to change if there was one map portal. Um, I don't think I could ever run what's that that staff the minus sixty percent all res staff I can't remember the name annihilating uh, light yeah annihilating light uh, that's my go to early league staff for when I just don't care about dying and I want to just blast as much as possible so yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that would be not, not possible um, but yeah I I think I think there's also like some interesting changes here right with the eldritch i know we were kind of touching on the wrath of the cosmos but uh in general there's also some interesting changes with the way the influence types are now tied to rewards which is really interesting i thought the divine mm. change that chris noted was pretty interesting i am imagining if divine orbs so obviously you just hear that in a vacuum and you say divine orbs are twice as likely to be a reward from i i think it was eater um then yeah. oh i'm just going to take eater every time but i'm sure there's going to be an equivalent <laughs> equivalently strong node from seeing otherwise ever seeing x otherwise we're just they're never going to balance it 
Exactly. No, no, no. So there is going to be a better way to do it. The, the thing, though, sure. that makes it more complex, which I like, right, is is Eater mobs, for some builds, are super annoying because of the random projectiles, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, for endgame mapping, Eater mobs are way worse than Searing because they need time to pop up, right? And Searing mm. is just there. But then Searing is also harder because it deals more damage. The meteor stuff and whatnot, right? You have to actually yeah. read because otherwise you get <laughs> absolutely blasted. So it's like, um, I think it's a nice trade-off overall. Is that I the do think main just... reason? Is that the main reason most people ran searing Exarch just because you don't have the thralls or whatever, or is it I... more? So for, I don't know. I can only speak for myself, but mostly it was because the mobs are just there. You don't have to wait like yeah. uh, for them to pop up like two seconds or something, which was really annoying. Unless you're like prolish yeah. or something, I guess. Okay, yeah, that delay. I just think it does a really nice job of uh, giving each influence identity. Uh, as opposed to just kind of like you are, because I feel like previously, right, it, besides sort of the, I, I would describe that as like a min-max change, right, like the two-second delay, uh, the the only really other advantage was if you wanted to run the bosses and you had like, you wanted to farm specific types of invitations, then you could do sure. it like that. But yeah. this actually gives it a little bit more nuance. Yeah, which that's another layer, good. right? It's like the yeah. prices of the invitations fluctuate and the prices of the, the um, currencies as well, right, of the allergic currency. So it's like, there's a lot of like, variants in there i think it's pretty yeah. cool yeah and each has their own annoying ass mod like what's that 600 chaos damage per second while affected by a flask that one's pain oh yeah <laughs> Jesus. the flask meteor one just don't run flasks <laughs> yeah just don't run flasks Fuck or have 75 k risk yeah 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 exactly or bci yeah exactly um cool uh, I think what there's a, gonna be a lot to unpack though with the Alice. Tree. I, Sorry, Lockhart, what were you gonna say? I don't know if we've lost. You're not the muted again, again so are you? No, I'm not muted. Okay. 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 <laughs> just yeah, the test. I'm freaking out. Just okay. the test. I was just second. thinking, um, if they gave Searing Exarch, like, <laughs> how, what would be the equivalent to Divine Orbs? Like we are, we saw with Wrath of the Cosmos, uh, you know, Path of Exile players. Even if this says you will die, uh, if you jump over off this cliff, you will die. But if you dangle a dollar bill off that cliff, Path of Ex Exile players will just jump off that cliff. <laughs> like you just you dangle that dollar bill there, they're just gonna they're gonna do it. That's so too real. Uh, maybe, was, <laughs> yeah, maybe not directly in currency, right? But they could say like stack decks only drop from this, right? Yeah, like maybe yeah. one, yeah, stuff mm. that they could even it out if they're, they think about it enough. I was yeah. thinking like they could even be like really mean and do like point zero zero one percent chance for a mirror to drop from a, That's from what a I was mod, thinking. Wow. Yeah. right? Like it's there. That would be hilarious. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, you see the probability. <laughs> It's you're not gonna no, get but it, but it's zero point zero zero one. That would be like a thousand mobs, a one percent chance to get a mirror, right? That would be crazy. Zero 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 one. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. one in a million. I mean, that's still more than you, you probably think. ever get. So yeah, yeah, you, you it'd, still be, pick it, it'd be interesting yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. I can already see the highlights unfolding <laughs> yep. in that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think a lot to unpack here. I think once we get more to play around with the Atlas Tree, we'll have a lot to uh to do there. Um. I did see someone in chat ask about uh, Jungrun's unique. So I figure maybe just in general hit that unique piece. There's a lot, there's a bunch of new uniques. Um, they buffed the rare, excuse me, the unique weapons. They made them quote headhunter rarity. Um, but I, I'm, I'm I don't know exactly what that means because a lot of them are boss. I was thinking more like crystallized omniscience rarity for a lot of these if they're boss farmable. I don't know, maybe I'm being naive, but because uh, I feel like you can't like <laughs> if you're because if you the average the percentage chance that you kill any given mob and get a headhunter is infinitesimally low right it happens yeah. obviously but it's ridiculously low there's no way that like at Ziri's disfavor is like the same percentage drop chance off killing at Ziri, right they've done that up yeah um, i think they were just talking about global drops right That's, yeah, yeah the yeah. boss drops are just going to be whatever percentage yeah i yeah, don't think they go exactly. lower than one percent yeah yeah that's that's my thought as well um what did you guys think about i guess let's let's hit the rare or excuse the weapons first because i think there's potentially more to unpack because we already we've already kind of played with them a little bit so there's a little more there but um let me check what did you what all that think was again so there, soul taker look yeah, yeah sorry, uh, I'm, I'm just thinking a like lot. Yeah. that's a cool axe right but if that thing is as rare as a headhunter who's gonna use it man that's the kind of yeah. item i want to find on day three and just mm -hmm. be like holy shit i'm, I'm like twice as powerful now mm -hmm. and then in like three three weeks maybe i'll have some other build or like a sick rare but you look at that soul taker holy shit that'd be so exciting to find so we're gonna have to see how rare it actually is but if it's i i really hope he was exaggerating with the the mage blood head onto rarity because then then they've just created the same problem the reason they buffed these was basically 
by the time you got to, I mean, you found an at Ziri's disfavor, it was fairly easy to just get a rare that was as good or better. So mm-hmm. they buff these now. And the idea is now there's a new chase unique, but if they're so rare that you're never going to find them, then like four weeks into league, you're going to have some sick rare. You're going to find a soul taker and you're not going to use it for the exact same reason. You've got a better rare. So hopefully it, it is just speculation, yeah. but I hope it's not too rare, man. It would be so sick. Imagine you find a star forge on day three. Yeah. And you're just like, I'm making a new build like right now. I think yeah, I mean sense. the same Second with Maroi, right? Maroi was such a such a niche item for meme builds, and if that is headhunter rarity, I mean, come on, for like what for ten percent more damage or fifteen percent more damage? That's crazy. Exactly. That's insane. That's uh, I don't know. Like I, I'm also pretty butthurt about the lionized glare because I actually liked it where it was. <laughs> it was like such a good starter yeah. bow. You don't have to think about uh, accuracy. You want to stay away from mobs anyway, so far shot was pretty good. It was like. I, I like that bow, so now it's not going to drop for Lick Start anymore, which is really sad. Yeah, that is sad. And it Kingmaker? Is. That one is also, that was a super popular anime guardian weapon because it gave you the the Fortify Aura. That, yeah. if, if you're never going to find it again, is anyone ever going to use it for that again? I don't know anyone who actually used it as a weapon. It was just like anime guardian food. So, yeah, kind of sad. Well, I, probably I, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, definitely not anymore. So I think it's great that they buff them, but yeah, please, not too rare. The the most interesting one, I guess, other than the obvious one, which is Aziris, um, Varanastra, they didn't really buff enough, right? Voidforge is looking insane. Like really yeah. cool. Really cool. Completely busted. I yeah. I, it's also like <laughs> I think it's kind of funny that they gave like like Kingmaker uh, is so um it's it's potentially so rare now that you don't even it's like you give it to your anime guardian your anime guardian dies and you're so sad like exponentially yeah. more sad you know i was <laughs> i saw a comment on on reddit that was like i thought that they might have given it like your anime guardian doesn't lose its gear on death uh, which i thought would have been cool that would have been a cool thing sick. to add to that, that would now it's so rarity. rare yeah 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 i thought that was a really good idea but um alas not not this time around maybe maybe next time <laughs> sag sag but I think it'll be interesting to see. I, I am very tempted to make a Cyclone Slayer with Azirius Disfavor with the new plus 10 weapon range. Easy it Apparently class. it does work on on Cyclone because it. Mm-hmm. I, I thought it shouldn't because it's base range, right? But apparently PoE Wiki is wrong or and PoE, a PoB is also wrong. It does work. Like, yeah, I, I, I saw yeah, Reddit. Additional thread. range yeah. does count. Just the base range. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah but it, it is base range because it is on the weapon. It's like... Mm-hmm. base weapon fizz right so it, it shouldn't work but it does i'm just really confused because I, I said on my stream it doesn't work and then there was like a reddit thread who said it does work um so yeah i don't know i don't know what to think anymore this is a 2015 big brain builds maybe okay. maybe cyclone <laughs> will be playable outside of uh toxic sewers <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be living yes. it up like legion league right now oh, no, shot. no shot <laughs> come on let me have this let me have this one <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 prepping for my incredible league start video. I'm, this is just teasers. <laughs> Tier two iceberg meta. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Um, so I guess Blood within Seeker, sort of... Sorry, Bloodseeker is also interesting. I used to love this claw, just for the instant leech, right? But I don't think it's enough of a buff. Claws nowadays are so crazy. Like 400 mm. PDPS or whatever this is is not enough. I think that's shit. You'll get something better from Rog in the first week, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the... Insta Leech is crazy. Like it is, hmm. it is pretty fancy. Does that still let you leech through Reflect? Like, what was it? Ball Pact or Ball Pact? That node on the tree used to let you do. Yeah, Ball Pact. Yeah, Ball Pact. Be... If you're leeching more than the damage you do, yeah. Okay. All right. The one thing that changed since then is that you can now only leech up to ten percent from one hit. So it's, it it right. can never be better than like um life gain on hit. For ten percent of your HP per hit, okay. basically, yeah. So, so with with like five k HP or something, that's literally five hundred life life gain on hit, right? That's pretty crazy. It's pretty sick. Pretty cracked. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. Um, I guess it's sort of in the same vein as the buffed weapon uniques. There's uh, there are some new uniques obviously coming down the line. There, I 
I, I, I wrote the names down so I could be like, oh, yes, that one. But, but then, of course, naturally, I, I forget what all of them do. Um, but the do, one I do remember, and again, someone asked in chat, so I thought we could bring it up. Yeah, it was uh, Jungron's ring, which is the projectile ring. Um, I would Once be he. curious to hear you guys' thoughts. What would you say? Sorry. 1C. No, I'm good. 1C. <laughs> <laughs> 1C unique. 1C. Chat spam 1C. Um, but uh, I, I actually do think, that, I think people underestimate how annoying the random projectile direction can be um True. because uh, i mean but that's like, the point the... right it's a it's yeah, an yeah, incredible yeah. effect so you have to have a downside yeah, yeah. it's like T -t yeah. totally totally but it's like you get that there I, I think it's eater it has that as the uh alder node is your projectiles fire in random directions um and it can be it's not like destructive necessarily depending on the build you're playing i guess but it can be pretty annoying um, when you can't concentrate projectiles in one direction. It does seem cool. One alk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll say this, right? If it if it works with secondary projectiles, like Tornado Shot, I have Winter, stuff like that, it's like mm -hmm. a must-have in those builds. It's like you'd yeah. be crazy not to include it. Like Tornado Shot is always looking for stuff to get better clear, right? Like that's all the, the build is about. So it's a it's a ring slot. It, it has a little bit of proch damage as well. It, it has mm -hmm. res, which isn't bad at all, right? So it's like, yeah, I, I don't think you you will ever not play it on Tornado Shot if it works. Uh, Jungle it Rose works for second. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. There you go. It's that like a must-have for every... <laughs> I, I can't see how you wouldn't play it on Tornado... Because think about it this way, right? You think about um, random projectiles as a downside. That's not really true. For example, for Tornado Shot, if you have like seven projectiles, not only do you spread out way more, um, you don't really have to target anymore. You don't have to click in any direction, right? Like you, you can literally just not think about targeting anymore also since it's random directions it coming back also covers way more aoe right and if you have chain mm -hmm. on top right i mean it's mm -hmm. just gonna go wild it, it's gonna be a, a must-have and um i mean depending it's i think jung said it's seven percent from the boss you can also get like uh bleed immune or something if you corrupt it right it's gonna be level i i 85 or something so you can corrupt bleed so that's also gonna be huge i mean it's just a crazy ass ring yeah Unbelievable! Right, he snuck that by GGG. <laughs> <laughs> I love credit for three C. Huge. Yeah. Uh, I think the more Direct. exciting item, though, the, the way more exciting one of those uh, steel spell gloves, right? I know John Ron loves those. It's so sick! Oh, They're yeah. gonna make seismic trap <laughs> viable cool. again. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a shame no one's played seismic <laughs> trap for uh, you know the past two years, every single league. Yeah. <laughs> oh. God. Seismic trap back on the menu. Easy clap. <laughs> yeah. I think it's it could be huge for BV as well, but we'll have to see. I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. But but those gloves seem seem pretty busted. Yeah, and it's unique gloves, so you can get curse on hit as well, which is insane. Something like, yeah, it, it's it's pretty damn crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. This I know is a cool also... unique. I, yeah. I'm just saying, like, these are the kind of uniques you need in the game, right? They're, they're things that are just they're unique. They don't, there's <laughs> nothing like it. You can make a whole build around it or it just, oh, I, I love it. It's cool. I can't really think of anything specific. It doesn't work with Spark though, right? I mean, that, that's what everyone said. No, Spark has Spark. a duration, right? And Spark doesn't have an end. It doesn't end, right? It's like. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's and it doesn't like... refresh the duration. So yeah, it can't work. Yeah. Yeah. It also I, can't, I'm going to assume it can't work with stuff like Molten Strike. Everything that has like an end point, right, where it explodes or something shouldn't work. Even Fireball shouldn't work, right? Unless if it explodes, it's just gone, right? So I don't know how, how that's going to work. I have no idea. Ooh. But yeah, overall, I, I think for some, especially for builds where the random projectile is actually an upside um, on top, that's going to be huge. Mm -hmm. It's not, I don't think it's just going to be about shotgunning, which people are talking about. I think this ring is going to be huge for builds that have bad or like subpar clear or builds that already have crazy clear and they already go all in on clear. So they might as well get even better clear. Right? So I, I don't think it's just shotgunning. Yeah. First person to get that ring has to make a video trying out every projectile skill and we see how it works. <laughs> free yeah, free I Nova mean, for EK too. True. Yeah. 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 True. <laughs> Oh, wow, that actually is really nice. I loved, yeah. I pulled EK or a stacker 3.12 classic. <laughs> that was fun. That, that was, was fun. good. <laughs> uh, I know there's also, so we've also got the amulet, the eternal damnation amulet, which is the uh, alley damage reduction uh, for half your chaos res. Seems pretty interesting. Seems pretty interesting. And there's also the uh, flask, which is progenesis, the uh, amethyst flask. If we wanted to, we can touch on those, we can leave them, whatever you guys want to do there. I think, um, Captain Lance said something about the flask and like 
cast an image taken, but I don't think it stacks up, right? So I don't know how that's going to work. But just mm-hmm. defensively, that flask is crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, just defensively. I'm not even talking about, like, just broken interactions. Like, that flask is huge. Like, for a Slayer or something, that is literally... Like, that's that's literally 25% reduced damage taken, right? And it's like, an Amethyst mm-hmm. flask. So, for and, those, yeah. Yeah, like, free and, Chaos Res. Like... <laughs> And it has reduced charges because mm-hmm. Chaos Flasks have the 30, Amethyst Flasks have the 35 out of 65, right? Yeah. So with reduced charges, you can use it twice. So yeah, it's it's a, a, a crazy flask. It's probably a no-brainer in, I, I don't even know. Like what, what build wouldn't want that flask? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, it does seem pretty cracked. Insane. That is for sure. Do we know where that uh, drops, by the way? Is that a boss unique? I don't mm-hmm. think so. I don't, not that I recall, at least maybe someone in chat can tell me I'm Oh, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I was say I don't I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's an Uber but, Maven, I think. So. Oh, Uber Maven. Okay, okay. okay. For, oh. the, for the Emmy, all I would say is for soft core, I don't think you can give up your Emmy slot nowadays. Emmy slot is way too crazy. Yep. Way mm. too competitive. Yeah, I, I saw that and I thought. Ashes exactly the stars thing. or take less elemental damage. Like <laughs> in soft core, <laughs> yeah. you're never gonna you're never gonna compare yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's, a, it's a plus two with crit multi or whatever, right? Yep. Like it's a insane what you can get on emmys yeah i mean they also they did and even taking that one step further they did tease that the i think they were talking about you can drop but they were t- debating dropping the uh choice tablets uh from somewhere in the sanctum maybe even plus four hopium <laughs> damn yeah and then you can't even compete even more so they did talk about oh. that slightly though they said the rewards oh, aren't totally resolved we're gonna be able to get reflected stuff uh is- no it's the you drop the tablet so yeah yes but like not they wouldn't drop reflected in the uh, in the sanctum uh, they dropped the tablet they talked about that i, I don't think that's okay. confirmed guaranteed i think chris said that they were debating it debating um, it all right so we're yeah. all playing doriani's next league cool yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly exactly yeah. cool cool um I think just again, just keeping it moving because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of mm. juice here. Uh, one thing that I specifically did want to touch on was the Atlas memories, the new Atlas memories. Those look pretty sick. Yeah, that's, that was exactly the my watches. Yeah. I yeah. Want. Oh, watches. What's the crazy? So Actually, cool. crazy. Yeah, my my mouth was fucking open. I was yeah. hogging out. Jeez. The content makes itself. The content makes itself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, the the oh, big gambas, so right? Sick. When you have a perfect two out of three, like you got exactly. hatred crit and hatred flat damage or something, and <laughs> you roll that, you you go for the one out of three, and then you go yeah. for the one out of three times one out of a thousand, and then you exactly. get <laughs> triple yeah, hatred, literally. and then you're like, literally, all right, easy. Yeah. Save up your mirrors now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Same thing with rolling colors. like synthesis mods, right? That's the other one that I was thinking. Oh like, yeah. You yeah. get you standard get standard players. Standard. Oh my god, they're gonna cream right now. We're gonna <laughs> see a lot of. Really There's some bows suit. out there. Yep. <clears throat> That's so and that crazy. is core content, right? So that does go to standard right away. Um, yeah, so yeah. That is, uh, yeah. Yep. yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, very That's cool. That's also sick for SSF cool. players. Yeah, like a lot of those beast crafting things. Not only is it super fun gambling stuff, but also if you're like an SSF player, you killed your your elder and you got a watch's eye with like I don't know, it's a bit shit. It's cool. Now you can like re-roll a mod, maybe get something good. I like it, man. And and especially the, the synth implicit is nuts, man. Especially yeah. since you, you can craft an item now and then, you know, later on, then go finish it off. So you don't have to wait for, like, I don't know, some dude to find some crazy well, plus one boat. It's going to be weighted. The rerolls going to be, be weighted. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know if you ever looked through the whole list. <laughs> if you ever looked through the whole list, that's not how it's going to It's going to okay, be there's thousands. It, it will be priced around people who are making mirror items. That's what yeah. it's going to be priced around yep. the beast. Um, and the Watcher's Eyes are going to be prized around Watcher's Eyes. They're literally like triple hatred, um, triple mm-hmm. purity development, stuff like that, right? So, no. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're casual, you're casual little guy that's like, yeah. oh, I got one of these cool things. Oh, maybe I yeah. use it. Maybe I sell it. No, you sell it. Like, you're, you're like, <laughs> 100%, you will yeah. never use that if you're smart economically. Yep. I do think it's this yeah. really interesting merger of league mechanics too, which I don't, I can't think of a place where that's been so direct i mean obviously there's like things drop in different league mechanics that's natural but like this is like a true mesh of the two right like you take the harvest yeah yeah, exactly which is pretty Ah, cool true yeah i I feel like we i don't i can't think of another example where that's been so direct uh and overlapping so that'll be interesting that'll be interesting but i cannot wait to make content hashtag content i was just thinking about you when i saw that i can't wait for the awesome videos mbx is gonna drop some gambling videos yeah. Oh my gosh, true. 
very true. spreadsheets. <laughs> and then what was the other? I was completely overshadowed. That one completely overshadowed. What was the other one? It was Pantheon, right? Uh, Pantheon shrines or something like that. Pantheon. Yeah, mobs I mean, near we shrines. don't know anything, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, mm. too vague, I think. Yeah, it's gonna drop sure, rewards. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, I wonder if they adjusted because I know a lot of the complaints around Atlas Memories last league were the drop rates. Uh, they were pretty rare. Yeah. Um, I wonder if that has been looked at. I did notice that, and I, maybe th this could have been, um, you know confirmation bias but like i was dropping more atlas memories in my atlas memories um i don't know if this was the case for other people but i felt like i was do i did a lot of atlas memories last league i did i, I was okay. farming the einhar ones just because it was just literally free currency um mm -hmm. and i was dropping more atlas memories not necessarily the one i was running but other atlas memories in that which i thought was maybe intentional oh. i don't know well they have like jacked um, up quant right they have like 250 300 quant that, so that's true which which yeah. probably was main contributor but uh yeah. i did think it was interesting so noting it cool. noting it um okay so now uh, this is a bit of a poke the beast topic <laughs> uh -oh. um, new skills and skill balance so uh obviously yeah <laughs> yeah i think a lot of people and a lot of the complaints that were coming in based on at least what i was reading and I know you, you guys, I didn't make a video and like reacting, so I didn't, I didn't have like the direct pulse. I was just seeing what I read on Reddit and all that, but no, effectively no skill balance, right? Relative. There was some things that changed, obviously lightning conduit, uh, lightning strike, et cetera. But, and then there's the melee vol, vol skills and, and there's sort of like indirect changes coming here and there, but uh, not like I think what people would consider like a traditional balance pass over skills. Mm -hmm. um, love to hear your guys' take on that piece. I at, at this point, <laughs> if if three point two one was just a balance pass, they add Sentinel, they add Ultimatum, I would be happy because, dude, like the meta is so stale, it's so stale that I was I was just I was certain that they were going to do something crazy this league. But I yeah, so too. it's I mean the only shining beacon of copium in the distance is that with the changes to Arch Nemesis. Maybe the meta will be a bit more open, more builds will be more viable, and not everyone's going to be running Wrath of the Cosmos and all of that. So maybe, maybe people will play different stuff. But yeah, man, that was that was disappointing. I must say. How about you think... subtract him or yeah. Palstron? Go ahead. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm well, we'll, it up. Well, we'll wait on uh, too much. I got to hold back because you know we got the the manifesto chunks coming, specifically the curse stuff um True. yeah i actually think balance is is the correct word like it's just just balance right like i i think like i've actually this i've been going back and forth in my head the past uh the past few days and like looking at their like trying to understand their approach and like what they're looking at through like the lens that they're looking at all of this right like what what are their what's their goal and it feels like they're trying to open up actually guitar hawk has like a kind of a uh, a good a really interesting uh comment on that right there in chat like it looks like they're just trying to like smooth things out and, like this is what i said like s make try to make things actually balanced in a way that you're gonna try to like you're you're sitting there and looking at the same ecosystem the same sandbox for long enough that maybe they're waiting for something emergent to be there by tweaking other stuff besides skills, right? Like sk skill skill balance changes are like a hard forced meta shakeup almost in terms of like, if I just say, all right, this thing just does twice as much damage and now it gets plus one proj and chain, right? You're just like, okay, well, people are gonna just play around with that and like do it, right? And instead, I think they're, instead of always just tweaking those levers, which, you know, if we look at a year or two years ago, every single balance patch, like, half of what we would do is reacting to like reading every single number. Like, all right, this is 350% effectiveness and it gets plus 500 flat damage. And you know, that's like the, the lens or like the levers that they would be pulling like quite a bit. And it feels like they kind of want, they really have backed off of that in the past couple leagues. And they want to just try to change the other stuff that's out there and see like what can emerge. Uh, and I, I think a lot of this is like a psychological thing where AFL just making a build without like a big obvious prompt 
it's just it's making making build periods like a lot of work right <laughs> and then without like a really big obvious prompt that like this is obviously better this is obviously worse that like you're you're just the the number of people that are gonna be making builds and like what actually like inspires people it's just like it's so diminished and it's so much harder and um and that's why it's just gonna feel stale especially like if the things that are like decent all right like how many people are gonna be playing ea ballista palstrin let us know <laughs> So how I think about it is I, I think GG has a warped perception of skills currently. I think they're not aware of how far apart some of the top skills are from the bottom skills, right? Like I take something like dual strike versus, I don't know, seismic trap, right? Um, and what they did this league kind of opened my eyes to, I think, what how they want to approach balancing, right? They nerfed uh, Spectral Helix, Lightning Strike, Lightning Conduit, right? So what they want to do uh, is... They want to nerf the best skills and bring everything up to speed and then make the game maybe a little bit easier to accommodate for that, right? Over time, sure. But the problem I have is I think that they think that a lot of these skills are actually viable. It's just no content creators making a video on it. I think that's what they actually think. When they look at Dual Strike, they're like, this is just a few nerfs away from being meta again or being playable. It's just like a, a content creator just has to pick it up. It's just about content creators. I really feel that way because think about it this way. If you, if you nerf Seismic, how many traps would you have to nerf to get to where Dual Strike is? <laughs> Every single one of them, right? It's like, you nerf Seismic Trap, then what? Explosive Trap, then what? Ice Trap, then what? Like, Arc Traps, Spark <laughs> Traps, right? You can go down the list, and at some point, you would be maybe at Dual Strike. But they, they really don't like buffing up uh, lower tier skills because I think they're afraid that these lower tier skills are actually not that bad. It's just that no content creators have picked them up. So if they buff it, they over buff it because it was a good skill to begin with. And now somebody's going to make an OP build with it. I don't know. I don't know. That, that's the only thing I can think about. Because back in the day, GG used to just take 30 skills, like almost every patch. Take 30 yeah. skills and, yo, here's 40% more damage. Let's see what happens, right? And from those, it's like 5 to 10 are actually playable now. That's that's sick. Like 5 to new, 10 new builds every leak, that's crazy. That's like, think about that nowadays. So I think that they have a very distorted view of how far apart the top skills are to the bottom skills. There's no way to nerf all the top skills down. You would probably actually be faster, like just buffing, I don't know, 80% of skills across the board than like picking three skills every league and toning them down. It's just, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we I also have, have the... I could go on for an hour here. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we also have the the new skill treadmill, right? I think this is what made, like, even more complicates it, where why would you play dual strike when you have bone shatter, right? And, like, they're not that close to each other, but they're enough in the same category where they, they're... It's, like, almost like instead of adding, like, instead of adding bone shatter, they could just rename heavy strike to bone shatter or something, right? Like... They, there's this like weird content tread, treadmill as well with the skills where they just keep adding new stuff. There's only so many categories and like like look at uh, volcanic fissure, right? It's just a mishmash of two things we already have in the game. It's right. It's bad. Yeah. Right? Like it's a. Like, can I just jump in because you said bone shatter reminds yeah. me of of the Karn video, right? This is something they have almost every patch where I feel like at the end they don't really rough out the edges. They're, they they kind of miss stuff. So for example, the the mastery being gone, right? The thirty percent further away just fucked strike skills, right? It's like, that was a huge mastery. It's like plus one strike, cute, right? I can get plus two on my gloves eventually. It's like, those things matter. Those things really do matter. And it's like, th that just can't happen, right? Those those small things they have to be aware of. And I really hope they change it around. Like maybe they remove one of the other ones that aren't really being taken, but yeah. And it's like Melly Splash. Yeah, like we're, we're so over Melly Splash now. <laughs> that would have been a great change four fucking years ago, right? Right now, it's like no, but like Melly Splash, like who, who is yeah. that even? Like exactly. hardly knew her. It's crazy. Uh, it's yeah. a bit of yeah. a mess. But yeah, we it, it really doesn't feel like we've had one of those patches where at the start, it's just you just think, what am I going to play? There's so many things. Like, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. Instead, it's like, uh, well, Lightning Conduit got nerfed, but it's it's still going to be good. So I guess I'll play that. And I, I don't, yeah, it's weird, man, because it does make it feel really samey. Even if there's a new league mechanic, that's going to become more boring. That's going to become boring 
more quickly than the meta will be, if that makes sense. Like if the meta yeah. is completely shifted, you might save for the whole league just to try out all these different builds that are good. So eh, I kind of wish they would just actually delete Seismic Trap from the game, just cut its damage in half. Like people are so scared. Everyone always complains. Oh, they delete my skill. They always ruin my skill. Like I can't play this shit that was viable for like 10 leagues. That they need to start doing that again. I feel like just take Seismic Trap and be like, it does half damage now, and the, and it does like two pulses a minute. Like I said, but, I don't think that's the that's the problem solver, right? It's like well, then we're back to explosive trap. Then exactly. we're back to ice, and we go down. But the then ladder, on the right? other, but then they at the same time need to be like, here's like twenty or thirty new skills that just do like I don't know double damage or the cost speed is really good or something. So do it hand in hand, but it's it's weird man the fact that seismic trap is still a thing that was like one of my first build guides in i don't know like a year and a half ago or something crazy i, I they, was actually gonna make a video about this but i'm oh, sorry go ahead. no no please go ahead um I, w I was like thinking about this the other day and i think that most skills would actually be fine with uh um just number increases right but melee wouldn't most of yeah. melee wouldn't. And that's not because of defense, not because you're in front of the enemy, but because of the less attack speed multiplier that they gave all of these melee skills back when the melee rework happened, right? That was the death of melee, in my opinion. It was like, okay, here's war cries. So we're now going to incentivize you to have less attack speed, right? To have harder hitting stuff. But then what happened, and at the start, that kind of went well, right? Like, obviously you had to press like five buttons. It was annoying, but melee was in a good place. And then they were like, yeah, we don't like this. We're going to tone down like Warcrys. And they destroyed Warcrys. And now we're at the point where a slam tag doesn't mean shit, but they don't really know that. Because look at the new skill. It's basically Molten Strike with 20% less attack speed. Right? It's like <laughs> oh, no. slam. Wow. So I, I can't, like, a strike skill actually has upsides, right? You can have additional strikes. You can have melee splash, stuff like that. A slam skill, I don't know, not that much anymore, right? It used to be a big deal to be a slam, but it really isn't anymore. So they have to, and also that less attack speed multiplier is the same problem with the defensiveness problem, right? A melee, a melee skill, you're in front of an enemy, sure. Which also means if you have a 0.7% attack speed multiplier, you're going to get stunned, right? You're going to get frozen. You're going to get chilled. You, you can't really sidestep while you're attacking. You can't use multi-strike, stuff like that, right? So it's just, melee needs a rework. They need to undo whatever they did back then with slams and just... Forget about like trying to have bleed builds and slam builds all the time. Maybe make skills that are dedicated to that, but not like half of melee skills. Don't make half of melee skills. I'm like, why does lacerate like stuff like that, right? Lacerate or whatever. It's like it feels dog shit. It used to why be such a exist? fun skill. <laughs> it yeah, it's like good. <laughs> it was fun. But yeah, rent over. I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm here for it. I I will provide a minor. I just before I jump in, I I, I completely agree with everything you guys just said, but. I do want to provide a minorly contrast opinion and more coming from like I would describe a minority, I guess, player like myself. I, I don't make that many builds a league. I make maybe two builds a league. So it's like in a situation like this, right, Like I, I still haven't played so many of the meta builds because I make so few characters. Um, so it's like I, I trust me, I, I get it. Like I think a meta shakeup would be great. But on the same note, I'm like, this, this doesn't affect me that much personally because, like, I, I like I haven't made EA Ballista still. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just never did it. Uh, sorry, sorry, pals, around. Uh, just no, 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 uh, no <laughs> disintended. Um, but you know, you know what I mean. So it's like, it's like I can still rotate through a lot of the meta builds that have been meta for 25 leagues in a row because I just never got there. But on the same note, it would be obviously I think it, it'd be I great think... to have a mix up and then at least at least adjustments to skills that I think look cool and I'm like, oh that would be cool, but I I'm a I'm a meta slave, so I can't I can't play them. You know what I mean? Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. I, I I don't know. It does actually affect you more than you think, I would say. If you're playing SC a soft goal trade, when the meta true. shifts, uniques become more valuable, Very different true. things become more valuable, different crafted items are more viable. Now crafting is like suppression, life, resistance. Uh, they, I mean, there's yeah. more than that, but everyone's using similar stuff. I remember one league where there was that Kadiro flask, the, I don't know, it was like the, the curly one. And I remember finding that and it was like 17 exalts. So cool. And I mean, I'm, I'm similar to you. I don't play tons of different builds, but just having that economy meta shakeup is also uh, something definitely, missing. Yeah, definitely agree. I think the last real economy 
shakeup that I can think of. The, the biggest one was when they introduced crystallized omniscience, right? And then attributes suddenly became hugely yeah. valuable, and people were, you know, double, triple attribute pieces of gear were really, really uh, sought after. That was like a huge shift, and that was whew, that was a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, at this point, almost a year ago. Yeah, uh, which I guess in terms of leagues is not that many, but still. Um, I, I I totally understand your point there. It's just mm -hmm. yeah, I, yeah. I think maybe it would I'm be seeing nice. it. Yeah, oh, maybe I'm maybe I'm seeing it from more of a point of trying a lot of things, right? I understand, yeah. like some people in chat said that as well. Um, there's there's going to be people who don't have time to try out all these things, and for those people, it's going to be maybe even more, um, I guess, confusing if stuff always changes, right? Um, yeah. I get that, yeah, but I get that. On on the same note, though, it's like it has been an exceptionally long time since we've had yeah. a meta shakeup. Like I like I got like the philosophy of, you know, like when they when they made an explicit announcement. I think this was. Was this Sentinel? I think it was Sentinel League, right? Where they were like, we're not doing a meta shakeup this league. No skill adjust, no base skill adjustments. So that way everything works. Like I, I can understand like doing that once, you know, and maybe like every other league. Maybe every know, second league, yeah. Could yeah. be a thing, yeah. But but this has been at this point, I think the last true meta shakeup we had was Scourge. I feel like maybe. Is that right? So, I don't something remember something if like that, that was a shakeup. Um, I, I, I can't remember either, to be honest. I know 3.15 was like <laughs> forbidden right totems, right? Forbidden then 3. Was 15 was Poison was Conk expedition. was 3.16. Yeah. Yeah, Poison Conk was, was Poison Conk. Yeah. yeah, that was Scourge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, it feels like it has been an exceptionally long time. Uh, and it, it is a little bit, uh, I, I can understand that being like, you know, not ideal. Because there, there's a lot of like skills that are really awesome mechanically. Like at like their, their core, they're cool, but they just like, they just can't keep up. And yep. The problem is again because I do uh, listen. I'm I'm not like a niche build player. That's just not who I am. Um, so it's like I, I I like to play the skills that are strong. It's just just how I play the game. Um, because I like to farm currency. I like to do all that stuff. So it's kind of like there's a lot of skills out there that I would like to play if they were stronger. But I'm also like on the fence where I'm like I don't know if I'd ever get to it. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like uh, it's it's a weird middle ground. To be fair to what you're to to make your point a little bit stronger as well is if they go for actually making arch nemesis weaker right and we go back to the game being a little bit easier that will also by extent push some skills into viability again right yeah because a lot of people don't totally. care what's the best right i don't care what's the best it's like i want to play winter orb i want to play this i want to play that um so if that happens yeah as long as it feels good i just want to go back to like not needing 400 divines for a build to feel like it was in 3.14 right i, I yes. just i just want to go back to the i, I want to go back to my second build being 50 divines and not like 200 divines and obviously that's completely disconnected from most people but that's just a standard i had back then that i still kind of have in my head right like getting stuff taken away is never fun so so that's kind of still totally. what in my head yeah and totally. i also can't share builds as easily it's like i i feel like fucking terrible when i put out a video about a 200 divine build fucking mm. one weekend it's like who's gonna <laughs> replicate that what what is what is that yeah. that video is literally useless so uh, this league i made like four four builds i think which was the lowest ever right yeah so no totally totally understand that and speaking of it's i was like this league b before uh sort of the patch was coming around you know maybe two three weeks ago even before like the manifesto started to drop i was like this feels like you know i'm starting to get the itch to play a little little cock build you know a little cock <laughs> action um and and then they were like hey we're actually removing uh replica forbidden conquerors and I, or not replica uh, con replica conquerors efficiency um yeah. and i was like oh that's that stings that stings like that that was a i feel like that's a really i mean it's not nope. absolutely critical but it, like it's it's pretty important piece of that build is the minus mana cost so it's kind of like oh god like, the, like to your point like i was like the, the just one build that i love they just removed yeah. fulcrum there's no yeah. hot-headed no replica hot-headed is literally like there's so many builds gonzo because they yeah. now have like six jewels in the game or something. Yeah, it's crazy. The jewels are toast. The um, melee ignite jewel. There were some off meta builds like ground slam ignite, stuff like that. Ice crash ignite, which actually got buffed this league. Now 60%. Yeah, it's like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff gone though. Yeah. I mean, with, within that note, I think we can sort of start to do a soft transition here into like yeah. yeah the jewel and the ailment changes and the curse rework i know subtractum is ready primed to talk about the curse rework um <laughs> uh maybe even more so than already but um i guess just keeping it just sort of where we were previously just before we get there uh the jewels so yeah obviously the jewels are there's pluses and minuses there i i so from a personally from a like conceptual standpoint i 100 percent agree like you look over and there's two billion unique jewels 
not five of them are good, you know, <laughs> or, you know, like quote good from like a software trade perspective. Um, and you mouse over it, you leave it. And it's kind of like, it's not exciting to find a unique jewel. And I feel like to, to, I think what they've been trying to do, especially maybe in the last year or so is uniques need to feel really good when you drop them and they should not feel like alk shards, <laughs> which is what mm -hmm. they kind of became. Um, so I think conceptually I understand, but there was a lot of, I think a lot of people and, and some of, some of it, right. Some of it, I, I would say maybe a little bit too specific, you know, saying like, oh, they removed X jewel. This was so good for this extremely specific build. And I'm like, okay, you know, uh, let, I, I'd, I'd like to pick our battles here. Like that's a very, that's pretty niche. But then you have something like, like sort of what we were touching on earlier, like replica conquerors efficiency, which is super good for cast on crit builds, um, yeah. which is a really core piece of the build. I think I saw a stat uh, from 3.19 that it was used in 8% of builds being indexed on PoE Ninja, which is a lot, right? That's a ton. I mean, you just go Dialas for the extra quality on Inspiration, right? Diversion yeah, you, inspiration. You, you have to build it. You have to change. You have yeah. to change it out. But point is, is that like it was a very used item. So I think it's it does sting a little bit to have to sort of rework uh, an already existing thing if, if, within that. But maybe that's, again, part of the reason with the skill rebalance is sort of less that we were kind of talking about with like all the item changes and sort of other, you know, secondary changes, not necessarily directly related to a specific skill tweaking numbers. Um, yeah. But yeah, so what are your guys' thoughts there in terms of, I guess, jewels? And we can, we can hit on ailments as well, because I think that's part of it, right? Yeah, so huh? yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I think uh, I'd, I'm always going to be like kind of stepping back and looking at it from like what what's their intent and what is our oh, psychology. We can't our, hear you on Discord, by the way. It's like cut off. Oh, yeah, it, cutting it was out. just cutting out. How about bit, yeah. this? Let me I'll let me adjust the volume thing here a little bit. You guys are not going to be able to see him. Does your main mic not second. work on Discord or? Yeah, we'll do this. You can hear me better. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. So I have two microphones uh, because, yeah, Discord and this microphone, they would, there'd be a little bit of a conflict there, right? Yeah, this, this um, microphone takes me back to 2003, dude. Yeah, yeah. You guys are listening <laughs> to me on like like Ventrilo right now. Halo um, combat evolved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <The memories>. uh. <laughs> yeah, you guys are hearing the jank sound. Um, so like if we look at like the long term like like the build ecosystem and like the player psychology with how we get attached to things. I think just like more options and more things to play around with in the sandbox are just generally always a good thing because it'll it gives you creativity, right? Like I value options and being able to do interesting things more than uh something being valuable in soft core trade. Um right? So I think so there, there's that side. Like, I, I just think more options, like, why not just leave Replica hot-headed in? Like, especially the Replica ones, right? Like, Replica blueprints are already not, like, a big... Like, they're not, like, the best profitable thing to do anyway. Just leave them in there. Like, that that was, like, really, really weird, uh, removing the Replica ones. But maybe there's some, some code with, like, the base jewel and the Replica version. Um, but then, on the other hand, uh, if you want to be happy with any live service video game, period... Like, you know, we're you're gonna get nostalgic about the the way that it used to be. But like no matter what, whatever your build is like, I you know, we got triple I got my old triple herald BV. I mean Ellie hit was less than two years ago that it was still really good and nice. That thing's effectively dead right now too, right? Like no yeah. matter what, if you get too attached to a single build, like you will be unhappy, right? Um and like it's always gonna feel bad to get have things taken away. And I, I want the ecosystem to be rich and you know, there to be options. But you know, we're looking at like, you know, 10 years of Path of Exile and more years of that than of just like any live service video game. Like I miss Talisman of Ephemeral Power, uh uh Arcane Power Pyroblast back in Vanilla Wow. Like I love that. <laughs> um Zandalarian Hero Chime being able to one shot a warrior in PvP, like that was awesome shit. But then it got nerfed um, and like that was basically like a big transformative thing for me was <laughs> way back then um, getting to attach like no matter what you're going to be you're going to feel this sense of loss. But, it, you know, it's been going on for decades. Right. And, and eventually you got to look at yourself and look internally and be like, yeah, this is just what's going to happen. Like, yeah, and it's always going to feel really bad. But if someone just keeps like your candy is going to get taken away. But if your candy has been taken away every three months for 10 years and you're still crying about it, that's on you, right? Like, I, I agree. I want the things to be in the game, but it will get taken away. Things will change. It's always going to be shifting. 
And, you know, at, at a certain point, I, I, it's worth reflecting and making sure that you just say, all right, stuff's going to change. <laughs> I'm going to lose this. Enjoy this build while I can during this one league when it's busted and they're probably going to nerf it or it's going to go away eventually. Um, you know, look forward to the new builds. And, and I'm always going to be, I'm always going to be like advocating for that. But I do want those jewels. I, you know, I, I want them in the game, but we're going to lose them. And that's just going to happen. I think it's a good take, but one thing I think is happening and why we see a lot of people be upset about certain changes is that um, some people are not just in love with like Path of Exile as a whole. They're like in love with a a, a certain play style, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Like, I don't know. Like back in the day when Krillrin was nerfed, holy moly, I remember that time. I was also one of the people who absolutely hated it. Like if you played for leagues on leagues with three base attack speed and 100 proc speed on like most builds, you're like, and you don't have that anymore. That's like, I don't know. You're, yeah, you're not getting your your drugs, right? Um, so so I can totally understand where they're coming from. I had the same thing uh, back in the day. So so it's like yeah, uh, at the same time they have to like make it interesting. But I just wanted to to chime in there and say that I I get that as well. Oh yeah, I, I had my I had my baby rage moment a couple days ago. I mean it's fresh. <laughs> like I I know I know that feeling. Um, but I also regretted it the next day a little bit. Like ah, you know. It's uh, I I also set unrealistic expectations, um, but I also you know we could also say they could have done better as well, right? There's it's I mean a, yeah you you tweeted more than Elon Musk right so that was pretty <laughs> wow <Wild. laughs> shots fucking fired he comes on the show he's at least a I'm guest. not burning forty four billion dollars <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um. I guess within this, we, we can, I mean, because I would say this is sort of touching on the manifesto piece, which I know is uh, to some degree been been talked about, but we can touch on the element piece if you guys want to. We can sort of skip that gen just as like a concept and uh, move down to hex, whatever. If you guys, if someone has a point on the element piece, we can hit it. But otherwise. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to hear what Subtractum has to say about hexes. Okay, yeah, let's, without further ado, Subtractum, take us away. Uh, they're fine. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay cool okay cool uh, um, next uh <laughs> yeah so it's uh it's exactly what i've been rant, saying rant <laughs> rant, 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 <laughs> rant 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 yeah i mean let me uh, hold on let me uh let me go over here let me go to twitter.com slash subtract them let me see exactly what i tweeted uh -oh. let me let me revisit my shame um like i i felt it i felt it pretty hard man um oh it's it's a little embarrassing to read it out again. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to relive it if you don't want to. Oh, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Good for you guys. Wow. Let's see. Such an honor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um <clears throat> quote, Bane will have a curse penalty similar to Hex Touch and Blasphemy. Why would you do this? Now I understand Reddit better. This goes against the entire purpose of Bane. Its default quality even increases curse effect. I know the math is likely still an overall small buff, but nerfing things to fit a box, even when they're weaker overall, is a very Blizzard thing to do. I'm honestly disappointed. Um, the, the Blizzard is whew, half that's of a subtracting, bullet. dude. So, <laughs> uh, so here's the thing. I understand how and why they did it. So just like the quick overview for people is they made curses stronger against bosses by removing the boss inherent... Um, and also, you know, they're trying to reduce complexity, but they removed the inherent 66% minus uh, less multiplier on pinnacle bosses and 33% less on regular unique monsters. Uh, and then they rebalanced curses. So they just said that and they said, okay, curse rework. And the manifesto was like, overall made it sound like the game was going, like hexes were going to be better overall as like a full net bonus, like positive in the end. But what they did is then, you know, then they showed a little bit things like we're going to tease a little bit. We're going to do a little bit of rebalancing, but overall it should be better. And then the next day, especially with the, the FAQ is then and then especially with the patch notes, what effectively ended up happening. If you said like your net power with hexes and like interacting with them was like five. And then you're like, you saw that you read the manifesto. You're like, oh, hexes are going to be like a seven or eight. But then they dropped like, oh, we're going to do minus two to minus three, actually, on some other things. In the end, the effective power for your character and the way it's going to feel within the game is still going to be a five. It's a rebalancing, removing some hidden modifiers so it makes more sense for maybe newer players. But the, like, 
I was excited for something that is especially, you know, that I like playing, that I find comfy, but is historically just a bit on the weaker side. Uh, it really sounded like it was going to be like at least, you know, hey, it's going to be in like a B plus tier and like competitive and interesting. And they're like, well, we can't have that because there's like this one like, OK, fine. If they didn't have a less curse effect on Bane, then then it would be like the right way to multi curse for almost every build in the game. But you can still get around that by using like Arcanist brand for a single press button press anyway. So like it doesn't make sense. Like the whole purpose of Bane, like there's socket pressure. Uh, you know, it, it, uh, you are self-casting regardless. It's still, you're investing into it and you're self-casting and like, why not let the skill itself kind of shine a little bit and be just a little bit better and, and like fulfill the fantasy of, of the, like the actual theme of it. And like, yeah, maybe a lot of people, if they want to min-max their curses and all that and fine, you can four link Bane in your boots. I don't care. And it's like, it doesn't really matter. And then, ah, uh, just like, it makes sense in the end, but due to the communication and then like the, the, the way that they balance stuff is like, it, we, we have to make sure that the net output is the number five. And they, instead of like fitting the theme of all the gems and everything, they just put these like minus modifiers on everything to make sure that that net number at the end was a five instead of allowing it to be like a six or a seven. And um, it, especially for something that is ho so historically weaker and fine, people can four link Bane in their boots, but they're still going to do it with Arcanist Brand. Or maybe they just self cast. Oh, you're going to press two buttons instead of pressing Bane. And like, but that's just like, it's a socket pressure resource cost anyway. I don't know. I think they over, they drastically overvalue uh, the convenience of pressing just a single button versus multiple buttons. Like, to the point where they have to nerf... I, I could just... Oh, I wanted Bane to be better. In the end, it's going to be like... It's going to be like 10 to 20% increased damage on bosses. Probably 10 to 20% less damage on mapping. And, like, losing, like, 10 to 20% defense um, because of losing Malediction because they don't know what the hell to do with a cultist. So, yeah. It, it's, it's fine. And I am resolved to that. <laughs> there you go scene <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> i i i won't follow that <laughs> i think i, I think we have a a bit of a problem with um they're really trying to get away from automating stuff right and that's something that made power of exile so nice to play like over the years they just introduced more and more and more stuff that just triggers stuff and then when the um like the self cast meta came around when they tried to make self cast relevant again. I think it was three point seventeen, was it? Um, Something like that, yeah. Yeah, they they tried to revert that, right? But they didn't really. It's it, you can't just undo what they did for like eight years. Like they threw they threw triggers on us for at like on end, right? Cast on crit was the best way to play spells. That's how it was forever, right? And then they wanted to do hand, hand casting or whatever. And now they're trying to do the same thing with stuff like curses, and it also doesn't go well because they forget about certain uniques that can still apply, like Azanoffs or the was it the Rod Blood Ring with Skitter Bots and you still get the Blasphemy, but you don't get the less multiplier from Blasphemy, right? Um, same thing with like Bane, right? It's like, okay, so we can't have automated curses because if we don't nerf Bane, everybody would just have Bane and three curses and it would be an easy one, right? But then Arcanist brand exists, right? So it's like they, they can never really find all of these corporates because there's so many triggers in the game. That's literally what's interesting about PUE, right? It's not just like I cast a skill. It's like, no, I cast a skill and then this procs and this procs and this procs and there's like a cooldown recovery. Like you, you have to figure stuff out. You have to, and and they they can't balance that. It's really hard to do. And they kind of want to get into, I don't know. They just don't want to be PUE anymore. It almost feels like it, it's weird. Um, so so I'm definitely on that right. But uh, the other thing is curses kind of have a problem where Ellie curses have like there's like um certain builds have a different amount of damage curses, right? Um, Ellie builds have flammability, Ellie weakness, right? Or frostbite, Ellie weakness. And then they also have punishment on top, right? Okay, so that's free damage curses. Poison has temporal chains and despair. Temporal chains is so strong, it's it, it kind of counts as double. So it's also kind of fine, right? Um, but then you go into physical, right? Physical has vulnerability, but it also has punishment. Punishment is decent, but it, that's one less. And then you have chaos dot builds for example or chaos hit builds they only have despair 
And Despair used to be really as good as two curses, but now it isn't really anymore. But you can't use Punishment, because Punishment is the same multiplier as Wither. So Punishment isn't even that good on Chaos build, right? So, so you have this problem where Chaos Dot, in specific, got kind of hammered, right? Um, and f like Fizz is a little bit less hammered, and all the Ellie builds just got like insane power. So, so there's just there's so many power differentials that they kind of have trouble balancing, and they don't really make any sense. So yeah, that's all. <laughs> I don't know what to add. Agree. <laughs> yeah, you guys summed it up. Yeah, but yeah, I guess but... what I can add is, like you said, Palstron. LE, LA skills got a huge buff for single target, right? The removal of that minus multiplier for bosses. That's that's big, right? That's really big. So something like conductivity, I think with 20% quality at level 20 was minus 44% light, lightning res, which reduced by 66% is like 15% or something. But now it'll just straight up be minus 40. Well, it got nerfed down to... I think minus thirty three, but it's there's a lot of math going 33. on there. There's a lot of like changes, yeah. But the, yeah, the, the so... problem, what you have to be careful of, is that's against bosses, right? A lot yes, of builds, like I, I actually redid some of my pobs. A lot of builds lost like forty percent of their damage while mapping, right? And for some people that that for some builds that doesn't matter. For an occultist, probably not going to matter. You have pops, right? Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. But for other builds, like cold dot, that matters, right? So it's yeah. like, uh, sure, Cold Dot looks extremely impressive when you tick all the boxes and you like press six buttons, but that's not how you play while mapping. While mapping, you hopefully can like vortex and then cast like one skill here or there, right? So you're fast. So so you also have to take that into account now that bosses are um, don't have that less multiplier anymore, right? Mm, that's true. Yeah, I, I've got like a very limited scope, right? Like, so I was thinking, I, I guess I'm jumping ahead a bit, but I am going to play Lightning Conduit. And the, the damage for mapping is fine, man. Like, it's it's so easy to get that skill. It's actually, honestly, I think it's so easy to get most skills feeling decent with just, like, basic mapping, like like up to T16s. I'm not talking about big deli mapping. That's something different. But I the thing I always struggle with is single target. So that that feels good to me, especially with Lightning Conduit. It is getting nerfed, but then you're getting this big buff on the, on the curse effectiveness. So... I mean that's that's kind of my perspective. I'm not like a big build guy. I'm Amosid and I are kind of the same on that front. So I, I was just like, oh cool. <laughs> the, the curse is good against the boss, right? <laughs> so I mean, how yeah. much damage we need while mapping will depend on how they nerf uh, how they nerf Arch them, right? We don't know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's gonna be a big, big question I think mark there. As is that good a beautiful of a transition, transition? As we'll ever have. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, Fucking layup. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, I think the Arch Nem replacement is one of those things we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, I, I, it's easy to be like, oh, this is, you know, thank you so much to get rid of Arch Nemesis, but it, who, who, who knows what it actually looks like in reality until we actually play it. Um, but theoretically, I mean, Chris said, and this is just what he said, he said, on average, he believes it is easier, rares are easier than they were with Arch Nemesis. Who knows? Uh, I mean, I think there's still potential for I, I, he kind of alluded to this a little bit as well during the Q&A with Ziggy where basically it's like sometimes you're going to run into a mod that oh my build isn't affected by this at all so it's just like a breeze but then sometimes you're going to have a you know a set of mods where it's like oh crap like this is like a really like this is a counter to me basically I wonder just because we don't have I think the full breadth of mods just yet and understanding I think there's a lot of potential hidden combos in there um there could be I'm wondering if there's like build bricking setups in there yeah um but i i don't actually you know that's I, I i'm not super concerned about that but i just mm. something i was thinking about um because you know obviously it's like if you run into a build bricking rare once every 200 maps like okay you know it's not that big of a deal um but uh i i think this is one we're gonna have to sort of wait and see personally um it's hard yeah. to evaluate in a vacuum can't release anything in are they tweaking the numbers on any of the mods that they're splitting out? So... Wait, Sub, are you are you muted again? No, no. I I was considering. Uh, oh. I mean, Palster, you know, I was considering bringing up, uh, you know, some arch nemesis conversation, but I don't think it's important. Oh. No, that's <laughs> we can. No, we can. We, we can. We Let's have to hear it. Now. We, yeah, yeah. Now you can't say that. And not, <laughs> not follow up. 
Yeah, I mean it's yeah. do it. <laughs> no, I mean what what you guys said I think is is totally fine, right? Like oh, Arch no, Nemesis. You it for us. Yeah, yeah, you muted it. Oh now it's now muted. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Getting censored. I, I hear you talk work now? all the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then I'm like, oh, you muted because yeah, yeah. I like Stupid I have the stream on the other Stupid side. headphones. Um, we'll make this better <laughs> next time. Uh, yeah, I mean, the reaction to the manifesto. I, I think it, it was like it's it fine, right? Like. There's so much that you could read into what, like, it's like their tone and their wording. And I think no matter what, it will be, the, the rares will be better, right? Um, and I, we got really, really excited that they're going to be not the scary arch nemesis monsters that we have right now. But we don't know exactly what it's going to be like. I mean, they even said the next day that is, they're, they're currently testing. Like, they released the manifesto. And then they said, we're currently testing between two and four modifiers, like by default. And they didn't say anything with like mutual exclusivity between those modifiers. So, and then Chris in the, you know, in some, in the Ziggy Q and A a little bit, oh, it, like it felt like he was kind of hinting that sometimes you could get Maledictor, Toxic, uh, Flame Weaver, whatever, like some sort of awful combination for your build, right? Um, very rarely but you can still come across it. And I'm curious of what it's actually going to shake out and how they, how they do it. Because, uh, you know, it, maybe <laughs> there might be like the equivalent of the curse FAQ coming for Arch Nemesis based on how they have it tuned. And yeah, that's what, I mean, that's, that's my apocalypse was the curse FAQ. So I, th I think, uh, I mean, if they, people are always going to react, right? And if they don't want people to kind of make assumptions and stuff like that uh, and put their own biases on, which is always going to happen, they should just be like a little bit more specific or not make a manifesto at all, right? 100%, or, yes. Or maybe make a manifesto in a way where you don't need a Q&A to answer the most basic ass questions the next day, right? Like stuff like that. So I, I don't like, I can't fault anybody to jump to any conclusions because that that's what we do, right? We, yeah. we just, we have a negative or a positive bias. We're cynical or we're, I don't know. Uh, happy for the new league or whatever. So yeah, it's just gonna happen. Yeah, if, they, feels, if they're that vague, right? Yeah, like, I 100 percent agree. Like I, I, yeah. we're, we feel like we're. I, I, it feels like we're on a roller coaster with the drip feed stuff. And like, um, like what is is that like? Is that like a net positive for the company and the returns? Like putting us on this roller coaster. Like I kind of wish they could just give. I know they're still working. They they're working until like the very last day because we saw that with Absolution, right? Like. We, we saw like, and we saw that with, you know, Jung Ron, you know, the snitching, right? With they're, they are making tweaks as they're discovering things every single day still. And there's, there's no like, you know, back in the day when we were going to ship a game, we went gold, we printed that master disc and it's done. And it's like, all right, this is the patch. This is the game. And it even felt like that used to be Path of Exile a lot more in the past. Where it's like, all right, here's, here's the patch notes and no mid league changes ever. And now... Like, they patched 11 times last league. And, like, yeah, I mean, it needed it, right? But they still did 11 patches. And the, many of those were still significant patches to loot and things that usually they would historically not touch at all. And this is, like, we're in, like, a totally different world of, like, roller coaster and, like, a, an emotional roller coaster up to the league launch, you know, especially for content creators. And then, uh, and then who knows, like, do I even make a video about like what I'm going to farm? You yeah. know, I get a couple days in the league. Do I make a video about what I'm going to farm? Or like, hey, we found that there was an exploit with Searing Exarch and the new Wrath of the Cosmos uh, keystone. And we're actually going to change that, right? Like historically, that would be untouched and be like, all right, well, this is just the crazy shit. And this is the crazy shit for this patch. And, you know, whatever. We're going to do glacier farming or whatever. But now it's like I, maybe they just find that they don't like the way that the loot is. And it's going to change seven. Eight, I'll wait for patch number seven. Maybe that's going to be what the game's like. So it's it's a very different place that we're in right now, and I I don't know if the uh, I don't know how I feel about that that roller coaster and the drip feed. Uh, I I do feel like it it ends up with more sadness than happiness in the end. Yeah, maybe manifestos aren't the way to go at all, yeah. and um, give us more like targeted stuff, but more concrete, maybe like more like yeah, not as flaccid numbers and stuff. Yeah, there could definitely be. <clears throat> Yeah, so room for more concrete information, definitely. The one thing um, I'm a bit worried about, though, sorry. is still loot conversion. I think loot conversion is a cool idea up until when it comes to one currency. Six, I 
I don't know. Actually, maybe we should wait a sec for Palstron. I think he's also got some good points on it. But I guess I'll chip in in the meantime. Sure. But I think so. Now they've basically hidden loot goblins. The items and the conversion is not going to be linked to the specific modifiers anymore. So it's just completely random, which I guess kind of is just how POE. It's not exactly how it was before. But how do I put it? Previously, you would see a Solaris touch and you'd be like, oh, sweet, I'm going to get like a Divine Orb. And then I'm going to call in the MF color, which didn't actually really do anything, apparently. But now, now you don't know when you're going to find it, which is kind of how it was before, where you wouldn't know if that mob was going to drop an Exalt or a Doctor or whatever. But the problem is loot conversion means that I think a lot of players are going to have it in the back of their head that they want to be prepared for when they do find that hidden Solaris touch or whatever, so that when they do kill it, they're going to still get like 10 Divine Orbs instead of 10 Chaos Orbs or whatever. I don't know. Is that if... not... I feel like that's just conceptually how it's always been, though, to some degree. Yes, that is how... All right. That's how I action know. RPGs work. If you I don't use say, Magic I... Find, you get less loot. If you use Magic Find, yes. you get more loot. Right. All yeah, drops yeah, yeah. are inherently hidden, and before it was just clumped yes. and visible when you were going to get the drop. But All the conversion, is... the currency conversion, I think is the one thing that feels a bit weird to me. I don't know what you think about that, but but having Chaos Orbs converted to Divine Orbs, does that is that actually any different from finding like 500 uniques in a day compared to finding 3,000 uniques in a day and that gives you a high chance of finding a Mage Blood? But is just ra ra really? Quant, I mean, the only difference is rarity will affect it more. Like the, the only difference is... Now, instead yeah. of going only quant, you go quant and rarity. You go right? quant rarity. But in yeah, the so end, you... you're still investing magic find and you're still getting more drops and more loot. And like it, it, it's in the, it's going to be a net negative, net neutral in the end. Then you, okay, all right, all right. Just so just that by hiding that drop. modifier, you, the, the, just by hiding the drop that's attached to the tag, you think that thing should probably feel similar. There's not going to be as much incentive to just have a little bit of MF here and there on your gear. No, the incentive is there. The incentive is always been there. It's always been it's, there, yeah. It's yeah, always I mean, been there. Compared to, compared to previously, though, right? Because previously, MF, well, MF didn't really have... Mm, it was just pure it, quant. Like, quant was really good. Quant was yeah. really good. MF became much more popular when, when, like, more chase uniques came out. But now MF also has the incentive of, of finding better currency. I don't know if I'm... I'm not really articulating it properly. I don't know. Uh, no, Hellstrom? this is just people opening their eyes. This is all it is. It's opening your okay, eyes. Okay, like, it's it's people realizing, like, they made it very obvious, and then people went, oh, we all need to use MF. But it's like, you always could have done this, right? Is that what you're Scourge saying? Look at Scourge League. Look at Scourge League. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, you just yeah. run T2 so towers, you Scourge it, you <laughs> you get your 100 to 150 quant little uh, tornado shot dead eye, and you're dropping two nurses every single map. Like, you could have done I that in 316. Loved it. Right, yep, like yep, yep. they're <laughs> totally it's no different. Like I did, <laughs> it's yeah. no different, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's it just a bit more concentrated. Yeah, I think it's yes, exactly. It's just I, I think it's at the end of the day, it's like you're mfing, you're getting more, more stuff. Be that currency, better currency with the rarity, uh, more uniques, more rolls for mage blood, headhunter, whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I think it all. Yeah, I, I don't repeat what, what was just said, but I, I agree with subtract them. Yeah, it's just basically just like right. they're like, hey. And magic finds good and they yelled it basically as opposed to okay. before where it was kind of like uh oh magic find is good but like it's just more like subtle i don't know yeah it's whereas now you 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 get that preemptive feeling when you find that specific mob and then you get right. the fomo if you weren't prepared for it yeah yeah it's it, yeah they just changed i think the feeling around mf more so than the actual mechanics at mm. least this time around that's my All right. yeah that's my view that makes sense um I do think, though, sort of what you touched, something that you touched on, alcohol with like the loot conversion. So they talked about they removed, you know, like the the shitty uh, whetstone armor scraps conversion that sucked. Uh, they removed the flask conversion. I hid flasks so early into the league, last leagues, it was so annoying. Um, but they added in a bunch of new uh, rewards coming from these, you know, increased num quantity of rare mods. Um, so I think that'll be that'll be interesting to see. Uh, they called out, and I, I just to make sure that this was said, because I think it was a little subtle when Chris mentioned this during the Q and A. But they removed the flask conversions. People were concerned that fractured flasks weren't going to drop, but you can still get fractured flasks via um, the regular fractured mobs dropping flasks. 
So it's just not, you just won't get like 40 at once. Basically, uh, it's going to be, you know, just maybe one or two uh, when, in, when you have that chance to kill Fractured Mob. So for those who are worried about that, I just thought that was worth saying because I think that was kind of subtle. Um, is there anything else we want to hit on there with the uh, the loot loot piece? Uh, we... Yeah. So actually, no, Hammer's been saying some good stuff. I, I actually agree with what Hammer just said. Like, okay, they did make it stronger. Um, but I also think and you know if you look at like the hints that chris has been dropping here's the thing path of exile is an action rpg based on diablo 2 if you play diablo 2 and you don't invest in magic find you're stupid if you play path of exile a game inve game based on diablo 2 the reason why this has been a stat in the game is a they expect you to invest in magic find we traditionally have gotten away with not investing into it now, you can disagree with this. I am not saying that this is a good thing. I don't like Magic Find. I'm not making an argument for it. I'm making an argument of like what I think GGG uh, believes. Um, like Magic Find is a stat in the game for a reason. And I think that they want you to invest into it. And, they, and I think they think if you are farming and you're trying to get good drops and good loot, you should invest into it much as you did in Diablo 2. And... Like, I, I actually did that this leak is I just ran a gold flask and item rarity support. And you're already at, like, I don't know, like, with a mage blood uh, gold flask, at least. Like, I was already at, like, 100-something rarity on my character. And I did notice a, a boost. I did notice it was better um, over mm. the long term. And that's actually, I think, what they expect you to do. Um, you want loot? Invest into it and get it. And uh, that's just, uh, you know argue for it or against it however you want but i actually think that's just a core part of the system of the game and they want you to do it so that's fair there you go yeah yeah hammer hammer summed it up super well he he put it in like a single sentence what i was trying to say should i read it quant being sure. good for currency is fine rarity being good for items is fine both applying to currency and multiplying off each other is not fine in my opinion and also said the problem is quant and rarity in the past were not quadratic increases currency. More quant meant more currency. Now more rarity and more quant equals way more currency. So yeah, that's that's what I should have said. But <laughs> yeah, all right. I mean, it, it's it's not bugging me that much. I'm not like, oh no, the league's gonna be boring because of I, that. I never really cared because I just I never. Uh... There's so many other ways to make currency in the game that are not yeah like the best way to make currency in the game is like crafting and flipping right it just always has been <laughs> mm -hmm. um and like if you're going into maps you're making less currency than if you're doing those two things so you're already and then i just like lean into it you know i never invested in magic find i just like enjoying builds and bossing and stuff like that and making enough currency to play my build and i always knew like during scourge league i was poorer on average versus the average player even because i didn't do t2 farming um but like it was it was accessible and you could do it and you know they're giving you taste of what magic find can actually do um and if you want to do that you can i don't get fomo with people getting rich as long as it doesn't like super ruin the economy for me um i didn't do like i did some testing this league but i didn't do and i didn't do like full full magic find or anything or lean into it and uh my build's worth like three mirrors so <laughs> I mean, I played the, you know, I played a lot, but you know, I, you can still do it by just still playing and, you know, go to youtube.com slash Pelsterin and look at what he's going to do with Metamorphs next patch and make a lot of, uh, make a lot of currency anyway. You don't have to do it. The plug. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. I think just, uh, I mean, we're, we're pretty much hit all the major, major things. I know we league starters, um, like, like I said, I, I, I have not touched even close to every meta build, but yet I still find myself thinking about repeating builds that I did last league and the league before that. Um, so what are you guys thinking for league starters? Uh, you, you guys go. I just talked a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm going um, Lightning Conduit. I know it's boring, but it's still going to be good. It's still going to be good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I found my leak starter yesterday, but I can't share it yet. But I know oh, what I'm going to play. Oh it's not going to be a ballista build. That's all I know. Jeez. Trying What's to buck the, uh, the mantle you've been given. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have to upgrade them anyways, right? It's like, yeah, I, hope yeah. they, I hope they destroy EA Ballista, then I don't have to make upgrade videos anymore, right? <laughs> <laughs> For you. It is, it is so easy to get pigeonholed in this game, right? As a content creator, like, the people will see you as like, the totem yeah. guy the yeah. <laughs> ea ballista dude or yeah yeah okay i'm excited <laughs> for that 
I'm <sighs> thinking Spark. I, we were talking to this oh, a little bit before we went live, but I'm thinking Spark again. I'm not sure exactly what you know variation of Spark, but something Spark. I think that's going to be pretty cool in those little sanctum rooms where I just can stand still. Mega. I mean, you do lose uh, some some prod speed, right? In the, if, I mean, I think it could have been sick uh, with some increased prod speed on the Spark helm. A little that shouldn't be too bad, but now that's gone. Um, I think there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of potential there for those sanctum rooms where I actually don't have to be good at the game and dodge mechanics, and I can just spam sparks in the room. Yeah, I mean, you uh, can you can stand <laughs> behind the wall and just spam, exactly. like, and it's going to... Exactly. Yeah, and, I mean, I think that's great, yeah. I think spark's going to be huge for league mechanic. It looks really cool. Mm -hmm. You just need a yeah. lot of duration and projectile speed, yes. and it's just going to be crazy yes. down now. Yep, and I did that last league too, and uh, actually, it was it was also it was pretty. It, it kind of sucked actually for the for the league or for the uh, lakes rather, um, because yeah. of, the, of the way the layouts were, and you could, it didn't get over like the the bridge. It couldn't go over that little hump in the bridge, uh, mm. which sucked. But this is Spark League. This is Spark League. I can feel it. Um, yeah, so, just go into so Delph, and you'll know exactly how it's gonna feel. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, maybe I still because then if I take uh, Spark, maybe I then take all that currency and still make a little, little fancy little cock build. Woo. <laughs> that sounds juicy. <laughs> so, so what are you thinking? Leak start. Ah, <sighs> so uh, I mean, there's so many questions actually. Specifically, for, I mean, there's Bane, right? Um, and I actually like it depends. <laughs> like, we don't know exactly how the league mechanic ends up shaking out with. What is the percentage of resolve damage that you take? Um, is that resolve damage affected by enfeeble? Right? Um, is is it just is it a static number or is it affected by enfeeble? I know it doesn't. It's not defense isn't affected by it. Yeah. You can't dodge it or anything. But does enfeeble make you take less? And then uh, how will temp chains like a super juiced up temp chains now? How will that feel against the mechanics? And, cool. and how much mechanics do I have to dodge? as environment versus dodging the the attacks of the monster um because if it's like lab traps and it's just like spikes hitting you from the side then you just want like high you know super high mobility and phasing probably whereas if you have um if it's mostly the monsters and i can just do a super juiced up temp chains and just stand in the corner still right like just like your spark um then that might actually be really compelling yeah uh, so I... that's yeah I, I just want to say that my my build, I have a Blasphemy Ori with Enfeeble and Temp Chains. So when my build guide comes out, I don't want anyone thinking think I stole your idea. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I, I had this idea yesterday about Bane and Chaos Dots and stuff like that. I was kind of like looking into that, yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody did that yet, so. Yeah, I've been watching uh, twitch.tv slash cute dog, and he has a really cool <laughs> Bane build coming out. Um, <laughs> Does it yeah, use it, it, it used to, it, it has the same URL as my paste bin. It's really weird, but um, yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool looking build. But I think uh, I, I think there's a lot of interesting questions like what does hex bloom like? What's the feel of hex bloom? What's the oh my God. Wait, what's uh, the cursed ground? Right, like yeah. What, the Pelsa, sorry, you just reminded me because yeah, yeah, yeah. we we're already gone with occultist, right? You just reminded me that people didn't even talk about that um explodey got buffed right it's yeah, like getting an unspeakable on... gift like a better yeah. unspeakable gift on top right uh, i think people are not do not realize how big that is it's like 25 percent more explosions basically from 40 to 50 right yeah i think people realize that's actually a huge buff also the nerf from the curse effect and malevolence you kind of get back by curses kind of being buffed right yep. so it's like yeah i, I think i think occultist leak stars are gonna feel fucking fantastic yeah. In general. So I'm 100% starting a cultist. It it's uh, there's just so many there's new skill gems, there's some new effects like a profane bloom I think is just going to be goaded. And so I have a lot of questions. I don't know what it's going to be. Like I might even if we have to see the numbers on like Volcaustic Arrow, it's probably not going to be awesome. Uh <laughs> don't want to get my hopes yeah. too high. Uh, cause like you just equip like Pierce and it probably does like the same thing. Like I the just volcanic equip... fisher looks awful. It, it's the, like the, apparently it's so it goes slow. randomly and it you can't use it against bosses multiple times. It's like, yeah, it looks even awful. worse is like <laughs> if you looked at their teaser video, um, in the second, uh, and when they're in glacier and do it, they start walking up and then the fissure goes down. Yeah, and they kind of yeah, double they're back. like, oh, we have we have to go. Yeah, and it's I was like, like, I thought it would actually seek out targets, but it doesn't, right? Yeah, but and you I was know like. What the... I would have edited that. I would have faked that yeah, on YouTube. I, I would have not shown that. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. You know what they always do wrong with with vol skills, by the way? I, I always take vol lightning strike as the prime example. Like attack based vol skills need to scale with attack speed. You yeah. can't just have a one use button that doesn't scale with attack speed. It's like, okay, 
like I'm I'm gonna see what molten strike is, right? But for example, I have like ten molten strikes per second. If you want me to press another button that I can only press once, it better be like out of this world or it attack with it or it scale with attack speed, right? Like I think Vol Lightning Strike is the perfect example in terms of power level of how a Vol skill should be, right? Mm. Completely agree. Yeah. Completely agree. Kind of off. Off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to turn this back on. <laughs> <Fair> um, <enough. laughs> uh, yeah, so I think there's a lot of... Uh, I have a lot of... I'm definitely starting a cultist. We have to see what the skills and all that stuff works out. Um, so, yeah. I, I think, you know, Bane will be... It'll be doing more damage against bosses. And, you know, like I've been saying, it's like... It's, it's all a wash. And, you know, I think the, the real thing in the end, right, is... Yeah, we haven't heard... You know, I guess, you know, Pelstrin, you, you thought of something, but... Uh, we're just going to see, like, Righteous Fire is going to be number one. Easily. I think Righteous Fire is going to be number one again. Most uh, played, yeah, for sure. Absolutely untouched for yeah. the first week. And we're going to see, we're still going to see, like, EA Blista. Um, and, like, even if Lightning Conrad feels good, I bet you a lot of people aren't going to play it. Because as soon as you see that number go down, people don't want to do it. Uh, we're still going to see a lot of Poisonous Concoction. And, yeah. It's gonna be it's it's gonna be like the same thing for the first week I'm, of the league. I'm not anyway. too huge on cold dot, but we're gonna see like for for softcore. I'm not too huge on cold dot, but I think we're still gonna see a lot because a lot of creators are gonna still make cold dot builds. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it's it will feel that great. I think it's gonna be insane in hardcore though. Uh, but then again, hardcore people are just gonna go seismic trap right. So yeah, um, <laughs> yep, true. Um. Okay, there are a few sm I would describe as smaller topics relative, you know, I guess it depends on perspective, but uh, so a couple things here uh, we talked about, okay, uh, tainted fusings, cool, huge, huge, mm -hmm. six Insane. links are about to be, yeah, yeah raining from the sky. Beyond again. is actually worth doing now, yeah. Yeah, I mean, actually, that's yeah. a, that's a, that's a spellcaster buff in disguise, right? Getting a plus two unique chest is gonna be True. so damn easy now like a plus two unique chest is probably gonna a six link is probably gonna cost the same as last league one without plus two right so probably across the board we're gonna get like every spell build gets like 20 percent more or 22 or whatever it is more damage depending on skill so that's very gonna be true. huge yeah it's very yep. true so yeah uh set up your snipes for everything from diala's covenant shavs buy them all and just double crop them just buy every double crop temple double crop them all six links sell them for 100 divines each easy just yeah. do it mm -hmm. yeah, yeah you're, you're not gonna have to get skin of the lords anymore that's, <laughs> yeah that's yeah yeah everyone good, just yeah. yeah that's it's so boring right now like all right how do i get more damage all right skin of the lords uh how do i get even more damage skin of the loyal double cropped it all right we're done yeah <laughs> it's like so boring. The, even the even crazier thing is um with that you can kind of reliably so a lot of um right side of the tree builds have the problem that they don't really want to go determination like determination granite flask is kind of overrated because in, in pub you always have a, a low amount of physical hit right so you don't realize how bad armor act, that that amount of armor right if you only have those two and it's like 18k armor or something you don't realize how bad that is against big fizz hits so a lot of the right side tree builds would kind of like to get fizz taken as right and getting a lightning coil early with a plus two holy shit is gonna be like you can you literally don't need to use determination right i mean i'm talking software here right obviously but yeah. Um. So so stuff like that is gonna be. Like, I think, I think people don't realize how big stuff like that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. I think also this plays into. I mean, beyond. I don't. I can't remember. Was beyond on the uh, map mod list this past league? It's definitely on this one. Which is no, it wasn't. Big. No, it, it was, was reworked, so it wasn't. But it is this league. Yeah. So tainted. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like are gonna C, be like. 60. Yeah, they're gonna be probably like ten C on league start or something, right? Uh, it's gonna I would be really assume. fucking good. And and if yeah. they they revert it, right? So that's a one in four to get from a four link to a six link. Um, if that's forty, I mean, on average forty C, right? That's crazy. Pretty, if, pretty right? nuts. We don't know. We don't know. I mean, yeah. that's that, that. Sorry, it's also cool because you can just find like a tinker skin or uh, something more relevant. Yeah, tinker just skin also. Yeah. It. Instantly cross Soul mantle, like guess thing. maybe. Yeah, stuff like yeah. that, right? Yeah, that's huge. And and with the power. change to divines, you're not gonna feel like super bad that you didn't divine it first as well yeah that's true i i kind of overlooked <laughs> yeah, that 50 50 because it was huge in scourge league getting yeah, a six link in that league that was crazy and and like buying everything on the trade side like every every unique body arm on the trade side was corrupted already because everyone was trying to get those those like, and they were so cheap too yeah and they were so cheap exactly yeah yeah like so i think a six true. link shavs in scourge if i remember maybe like a few weeks into the league a month into the league was like 
30 C. Yeah, it was peanuts. which is ridiculous. Yeah, which is ridiculous. That's just a lot of that's a lot of cheap power. Um, uh, one other thing I noted, uh, I, I specifically put this in there uh, for subtraction. <laughs> was the ROG piece. Uh, so fix the bug where ROG would only <laughs> offer base types that had unique versions. ROG is actually pogging out of his mind right now. Fucking uh, ROG subtract him. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and mute you in Discord. Just oh, so, so you can get a, a shabby jerkin from ROG now? Cool. <laughs> nice. They're expanding it. To, I mean, if he get So if he ROG offers like soup, like, I don't know, steel rings, vermilion rings, stuff like <sighs> that, I guess that could be cool. Um, cool base. Like that could actually be more interesting for him. But if it's also diluting the pool, so he's giving you like really bad bases that can't give uniques, like <laughs> I don't know, like I, don't, I know Driftwood Wand is like a whatever, like a sprig leaf or whatever. But like, yeah, like random garbage bases, it could just dilute it too. So we don't know. I mean, unless people are opening up the entire spreadsheet, um, we don't know what the actual set uh, benefit or or boon there is. No, yeah, I, I, I mean, I sometimes just all you need is a too. shabby jerkin, right? So. <laughs> Every night, True. it's the only way I can fall asleep. True. <laughs> oh no, you ruined no. that item for me. Oh, so so oh, man, so wait, so we're it. saying three guys, one atlas isn't acceptable, but a shabby jerkin <laughs> joke is fine. This is outrageous. <laughs> this is outrageous. <laughs> The main buff to Rog is going to be jewels, though, right? Because there's all those. I know we kind of skipped over it, but there's a, there's quite a lot of cool new jewel suffixes and prefixes and stuff. Maybe like reroll prefixes on a jewel. Get some mana reservation. I don't know what it'll be worth, but maybe it's only three percent, right? On a prefix, yeah, I think it's three to three percent. Yeah, yeah three percent. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be that good for most builds, like most mm. normal builds, because like trading off seven percent life or eight percent attack speed for three mana reservation sounds kind of awful to me. Um, on normal builds, obviously, right? Like, yeah. I think as you're potentially building up, though, like I agree. Like at the end game, sure. maybe not, but like. Early mid game, certainly. Yeah. Because then you specific, can squeeze like, in. Like Octo said, specific breakpoints, it's going to be huge, right? Like, yes. It's, yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you can sneak in Aspect, like, Aspect of the Spider could come back, right? If you just get a couple of those and you're just on the just on the threshold, that could be, uh, that could be pretty cool. But yeah. yeah it, like, it, the old mastery was 15%, right? That they took away. And so it's going to take five jewels on the prefix to get back to where we were two leagues ago. So. <laughs> you know just use that for your calibration as well yeah yes. i mean you can you can do nice stuff like, like for example if you have your pub planned out on having perfect model reservation on your helmet implicit right you can like compensate for not having that for now and stuff like that like, it's yeah. gonna be yeah there's definitely it's definitely cool but it, it, it is kind of low but then again if they make it higher you can just abuse it because you can have so many jewels right so i get it yeah it's like cdr right they give you three percent cdr which is yeah, not much, but you can reach breakpoints. So, yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, one thing I skipped accidentally under sort of the quote minor topic list was bestiary party play nerf. I think this is one that sort of slipped a little under the radar. It doesn't matter to me. I, it, it does matter to me in buying beasts, right? Because I, that has Wait, a let me... effect on the. Uh, yeah, I didn't find anybody who cared. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Actually, toxic. Um, <laughs> It, it's gonna it's gonna change the price of beasts i think if you're buying them uh, yes, I, because i think a lot oh, yeah, of the, that could be a... a lot of the the supply of beasts right is coming from these party plays but if you're me who likes pl I, I like i enjoy best year i've done a lot of atlas farming on my own which is obviously not quote efficient relative to these party play uh, groups but it is fun and einhar is is just you know he's a nice little companion to join you in your map um it actually it's i think it's actually a buff to best year right if you're playing solo because the prices will likely go up um and therefore it's more attractive to run as an atlas strategy just something small to note i i, yeah. I think it's cool it's a fun strategy particularly early league einhar like if you're if you're lacking some power and you take the i assume the nodes are still there on the atlas uh you know giving einhar increased damage and he stays in the map even if he captures all the beasts that's actually kind of that's actually kind of useful um it's when you're sort of lacking some early game power so i thought that was not you know nice for me maybe if you're a party play beast party player uh you know get wrecked but um yeah i don't know something to something small something small to note um nurse on carcass uh okay sure 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 uh uh nurse farmers in shambles maybe question mark <laughs> i had people commenting on my video i was like everyone knows carcass is not that fun to run but i had people commenting like carcass is my favorite map I was just like, uh, 
okay, more power to you. I mean, it's just it's not gonna compare to like <laughs> the re the really really good maps. Like Carcass is just it's fine, but it's got you know it's got a couple you know you gotta like kind of double back a little bit, and then the bosses you know you can kill it really quickly once it jumps out, but it's not like it's not Mesa fast, and it's not like no. Promenade. Like I, I think it actually has like a it feels like it has lower density as well versus even something like a juiced up promenade or something like that so it's like i don't know kark ass yeah like i i just <laughs> and, and like you're, you're like navigating carcass sucks right like you're bumping in like all the little like spikes sticking out and like so yeah, octo go. made a point that i actually was thinking as well is carcass is potentially it's a decent blight map so yeah if you're you know, farming you can, cards you you're can... not stopping for shitty ass blight mechanic whoa jesus <laughs> No, it's it's like a it's a, it's like a decent oh. light map, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But I mean, with Toxic Sewer coming back, right? Wait, is um is Core still in the game? No, right? I, no, I don't, I don't think no. Core's in. Yeah, there, so no. it's it's probably Toxic Sewer is just better than Carcass, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think. Yeah. I thought this was you know this isn't like huge, but something to call well, out for blight. Something... I mean, sorry for, for blight is blight, fine I mean, if you're a yeah. blight farmer, but if you're magic finding, blight is the last thing you want to do. You're you're not uh, sitting there farming blight chests, all right? You just <laughs> gave me a, who the hell magic finds? Come you on. just <laughs> gave me a league start or a, a video title. Subtractum hates blight. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? No bl blight. I'm not memeing. I use blight in Crimson Temple farming for I think a couple of leagues ago because it spits out a lot of monsters, like one and a half thousand yep. monsters for blight, and you can get two. And with the what are those nodes? I don't know. It, it makes the monsters come out really fast. So in like 30 seconds, you can kill like one and a half thousand monsters. It's not as shit as you might think. Plus, it's like, it's it's just, I don't know. It's casual. It's easy. You don't like, you can kind of like, like I was playing BV and just doing Blight and I would just hold spacebar and like look over at chat. And you know, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's nice. I don't know. But, uh, no Blight hate. Um, and then something else that I just added in here is just generally speaking, the Kirak mods I thought was worth like at least a, a, a note. Um, domination, kind of cracked. Um, and all so Blaster Boar rise up. No essence. <laughs> no, yeah, essence no essence is big. This is the first time we haven't had essence in a long time. Long time. I, feel I think like. we did essence two leaks in a row. I actually don't remember. Or did, did we? I, I'm not, I don't <laughs> think it's that like long. long. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think it's been <laughs> that long. I mean, 3.19 yeah. went on for what, a year? So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can you tell? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I did think it was interesting. Delirium for 10C, very interesting. Very interesting there. You buy some yep. uh, Delirium Sextants and then you just pop Delirium on quick and easy. Uh, could be pretty cool. Even for just casual Delirium play, if you just like Delirium and want to do that, it's not it's pretty accessible. And then imagine um, wasting your money on Ritual like an idiot. Imagine doing shrimp. Ritual and spending 15 chaos per map to come out with a bunch Excuse of me, all charts. Excuse me, it's 13C. It's 13C. Dude, imagine this. <laughs> oh imagine God. this. They actually reworked Ultimatum, but you can only see it if you click Ritual on your map. <laughs> I, I would, I nobody, could Literally nobody clicks it, so nobody for the whole league realizes that Ultimatum has been reworked. What, a, what if Ritual that. was actually oh not the worst mechanic in the game? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Ritual. Okay, Ritual is fun, though. I I okay. Every is it fun to be to locked into a tiny place and you get stuck <laughs> like behind some sort of environmental thing, and then there's a monster that's like behind a wall that you basically can't even get to, and you have to just like alt F4 because it's stupid and it feels awful, and there's like but the rewards, wrong. man. Oh, the rewards. Oh yeah, I can't wait yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three alchemy shards. Great. Cool. Exactly. Last league, I pulled five mirrors out of Ritual. No one can disprove that. Actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, um, I did. Listen, I Rich did the challenge that was like 2.5 million ritual tribute, You're and crazy. I was <laughs> net neutral on my profitability. Like every other map, like every third or fourth map, I would pull a couple exalts. But with the investment, it I was like net neutral. I like was not profitable at all. Unless you get a mirror shard at least or a full mirror, ritual will on average be like you'll just get a little bit of currency. It's just not worth, it, and it's an awful oh, yeah. mechanic. Ritual is the definition of hopium. Every single time yeah, you do ritual, yeah. it is just like, <laughs> I'm going to get the mirror. It's this ritual. Um, and it, rit ritual is like so, it's so spiky. It's so spiky. You hit garbo, yeah. garbo, 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 garbo. Divine, garbo, garbo. It's just like, you know, it's just totally, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's so overweighted. Um, I don't, especially considering I'm assuming the ritual sextants are still going to be dirt cheap. Uh, I, I don't know why you'd ever pay for this. Um, it makes no sense. But, 
I think we covered everything major. Was there anything else you guys wanted to touch on? I think we, we could also do a little, little Q&A from chat if there's anything else people wanted to ask about. Um, but is there anything else I, we missed that you guys wanted to touch on? Thinking about it right now. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Q&A sounds good. Cool. I think we is there cover. anything people in chat wanted to hear about that we didn't touch? Supporter packs. The supporter packs. They do look pretty sick. They are so They look really cool, yeah. I, Kadiro? I Congratulating people when they hit the something. Bump. It's, it's pretty That's cool. so sick. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was. I was like, they were showing like the uh, the fist bump after the trade, and I was like, me after I just got scammed for a five link shaft. <laughs> oh my god! When you see the fist bump, can you get scammed? <laughs> oh, oh my god. can you get like you need yeah, the thumbs down good. the apparition to to yeah. show after that. I was gonna oh make that into gosh. a meme format, but I, I was self conscious. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you should have done it. That would be so funny. Oh, that's actually true. I did forget singing games <sighs> ruthless. I have I didn't sign up oh, for ruthless. Yeah. Not not my thing. Just straight up. Same. Um, but yeah. Uh, so sub and local. I know you guys both played. Uh, what, did, yeah. what did you guys think? Mm, it's fun. It's very different. I it doesn't feel super hard. I only made it. I just made it just before Act Ten, and then I remembered I had a job and had to work. So. You know, Classic. the thing that's, uh, it's frustrating. <laughs> well, it's not frustrating. I feel like it's a mode that either you need to be really okay with it taking ages to finish a build or to achieve what you want to achieve, or like you literally need to know life it because it took me, I think I'm up to like 11 hours and I'm at the end of act nine or like 11 or 12 hours. I'm on a one link, which is cool. It's fun. It's different, but I, I literally <laughs> do not have is time. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have time for this, man. Like, it's going to be 40 hours and I have a three link. Like, I can't. I can't. So, yeah, I if you if you're looking for something different mid league, give it a try. It's it's way more fun than it sounds. It is way more fun than it sounds to be on a one link. Every every drop matters kind of. Well, not every drop. I mean, like the, basically the the feeling of progression is more spread out. And then when something does happen that is positive, it's more impactful because fucking nothing has happened for four hours and then you finally found an upgrade. So it's cool. But if you have a job and a family and friends or, you know, pets or hobbies or literally anything, you're probably going to hate Netflix, it. Netflix, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, just before, just to quickly jump in, it's like, for me, the, the non-attraction to Ruthless is kind of, I was like, I already... It's like it, it would be fun and for me, maybe in the context of an entirely new campaign or like an entirely new end game. But like doing the exact acts that I've already done 50 times, uh, just just slower and then getting to maps and just doing the same thing, but just slower is not my it's just not for me. It's just not for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, I, that's I, really yeah, Go ahead. Uh, I, I had the same feeling. I didn't sign up because it was kind of like. At the point where I'm so burned out of softcore that I want to play Ruthless, I would rather just replay Witcher 3 or something, right? It's like, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, just yeah, that's a really, really good point. So I think um, I'm looking at it as a totally different game. Uh, I've, I've had fun, like, actually with my first character was before they rebalanced the rarity on the alpha server, is I had, like, five or six support gems by Act 3. Like, I, I actually... So I found a gold flask and I got rare I got a gold and amulet rich. and I got rarity what on my boots. Fuck? So I had like 90 to 100% rarity. I was magic finding and ruthless and I was actually getting like okay gear, but then I hated the build so much cuz I was doing ZDPS that I just l let it die in lab. <laughs> like <if> Zaro <laughs> took so long, I walked over a fire trap and I was like, "Hey chat, oh, I died. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> Time to make another character." Oh, um works. with that just said, imagining. like I think it's it's um I've been calling it No Nut November for Path of Exile. So it's like, you know, it, it's, it, you know, you're basically, you're, you're edging the whole time that you're, you're playing, getting the toxic right? out yes. of your veins, like the, the, the <laughs> end game toxin out of your veins, exactly, right? You're resetting. Exactly. Um, right, yeah. right. Like it's, uh, it, it's, it's a very, like, like, I think you guys, like Amos said, had a really good point. If it was a totally different game and I didn't recognize absolutely everything that was happening and I was like, oh, I'm playing. I'm playing Exile's Path or something, and it's a totally different campaign. And I'm just like, it, you know, new, everything is new and kind of shiny, but it's like this really slow progression. Um, it could be really, really interesting, but like a full recalibration 
of like the stuff that I already know, it's really, really hard. Like I have to be like, get, get myself into like an, I have to like psych myself up and get into like an out of body experience almost of like, okay, uh, this alternate timeline of myself who's never played PoE before, I'm going to slowly walk around and try to find stuff. Um, now I think it's really, really cool. It, it does like, it, it really does show you like the power of tuning things down and making it impactful. Like I think this could be instructive for GGG as they work on the vaunted. We haven't heard them t mention it in like six oh, nine months. We lost you. Oh, oh, we lost you. Oh, oh. come on, oh, this is the worst. We'll fix instructive this. for Muted. GGG. All right, all right. Um, instructive for GGG to uh, like understand maybe what they could do with you know loot 2.0 as they you know I think loot 2.0 effectively now is just like they're slowly tweaking things every patch. Um, like it might be just like interesting data for them to get that feel. And and I think they super for Ruthless right now, they just for warning for anyone that's thinking about playing it for 3.20, I think the state that it's in right now is definitely not the state it's going to be in at the end, but it is super overtuned to be very brutal in terms of like the slow progressions. So like the game's not harder at all. It's just slower. slower and yeah. it's really, really yeah. brutal to the point where like, you're going to find one transmute every four or five zones as you're leveling, like best case. What? And I found no. I found one, like one per act. What's going on? One per act. One man. per act. Uh, I mean, like I, really I'm, I'm a bit of a magic find god. So, yeah, um, I was transmute. I found one. El I've, I've leveled two characters now and I found one alteration. Um, oh, okay. like, found, like one five. alteration. Yeah. So there you go. You got one alteration. <laughs> and I found like one. maybe two alchemies. Um, so like what I my feedback there would be just like give me a couple more like transmutes and augments so I'm not wearing like half white gear at least by like act six or act seven just mm -hmm. a little bit like it, it even just like it doesn't it wouldn't like necessarily make you more powerful it would just give you more options to like play in the sandbox right like you're still finding magic items you're still identifying them you're not going to necessarily get noticeably stronger by having like being able to transmute more items by like act four or five but yeah. Um, and then I also, I would like, like, uh, something like a vol dash or something where like, Hey, I get one dash, uh, after like the zero movement skills is, is like pretty brutal. Every 20 like, seconds or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like Every 20, 20 30 seconds, down, yeah. just like, or, you know, yeah. Or, or like a vol dash where like, okay, you have to actually attack some monsters. You'll get some souls and then you'll have that saved up for that zone. Right. Um, just a, a little bit of mobility. Cause like the problem with path of exile is. It is a very slow and kind of clunky game, fundamentally without movement skills, and just a little bit, you know, being able to move it around. But anyway, I think Ruthless is cool. It's a cool experiment. Uh, try it if you want to, but uh, you know, it's it's not for everyone. And and two people worked on it on like their their off time, so it doesn't hurt anything. I think that most people understand that at this point. Um, I actually wish it was just called mm -hmm. like slow mode. Because it's ruthless yeah. <laughs> makes it sound like you know eternal nightmare death mode and it's like gauntlet right but it's just like slow mode it's like it's we put slower. on like yeah. we put on like classical music and I'm like all right it's gonna take me like two hours to beat Merville how's it going chat and that's that's basically what the experience is yeah yep, yep. Pretty so much what you're it. saying is you would need several beers to go home with ruthless yeah absolutely yeah <laughs> okay. uh, makes sense, yeah. any other chat questions I feel like we've thoroughly exhausted ruthless <laughs> vol cleave is a bait well so here's the problem cleave is bad so just having How access to using a uh so a vol cleave has uh calling strike and it has behead built into it so you could like one link it if you want to have access to that you know you could do like item rarity support and you know whatever and you get a free calling strike with like i don't you know you could make make yourself your own little baby magic find but you know cleave is already bad right and so okay fine you can vol cleave like five times on a map who cares right that's not going to change anything so there you go <laughs> <laughs> pretty vol much the flicker? same with the new skill as well that i'm new actually skill, yeah, go yeah, sorry sorry go ahead, go ahead it, it kind of also just feels like a vol cleave right the frozen legion i was like i'm definitely gonna start something new and then i looked at it, i was like uh it's basically just like cleave with the cooldown and then it hits five times okay visually cool though visually cool yeah Anyway. They were pretty. They were pretty. Like t they, they didn't take any chances this time. They really made the skills very flaccid. They say it's like yeah. yeah. But but the thing is like the vol skills can change everything. I don't think people yeah. realize how much a vol skill, a good vol skill, can change a skill completely from 
like dog shit to actually like tier one even right like a tier build um so we still have to see the numbers on some of those like for example Val costing mm. might just be insane who knows mm -hmm. and then there is toxic rain back on the menu right so it's like yeah yeah i mean if Val cleave only takes five souls and you know has a lockout time of one second right you know then you're just playing Val cleave at that point and then you could yeah i don't know do like a hate forge flask finder Val cleave build i mean we already really saw the gem info right we, the we gem did we was, did so yeah. I'm, I'm just saying you yeah, no. could. <laughs> they could. It could. It we it. still have some out, right? Like Venom yeah. Jar is not far away from being a good league starter, right? Yeah. Like some people even argue too. it is already a good. It, it's a really fun skill. It has really good clear speed, right? Mm -hmm. So you could argue the, the Vol skill maybe doesn't even have to be that good. And it, if it helps for single target damage on Venom Jar, I mean, there we have a starter. You have crazy good clear, and then you don't stand around for one minute at the boss. That's huge, right? Yeah, definitely. Someone did ask as well about Vol Flicker. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Vol Flicker, dude, Vol Flicker is exactly the way um, an attack-based Vol skill should be. It's so fucking great. It's, like, fun. It's It scales with attack speed. It's p powerful. Like, it just has everything. Yeah, it's perfect. I Too bad I can't play Flicker for more than about 10 minutes, but uh, oh, before wishing, you know, I, I need to go close my eyes for a while and just sit down. <laughs> <laughs> it literally hurts my brain to watch. Um but in theory, I agree with you. <laughs> Let's see. Any other questions from chat? What's burning in your in your minds? I think with... somebody was talking elusive changes, right? Mm. Um, mm. Oh, true. Yeah. We didn't talk about that. I, I didn't like how they changed Withering Step because it kind of screws up um, builds that already had elusive. Like if you're Chaos build and you already have elusive, you can't get Wither Stacks with Withering Step, right? Mm. Which was kind of huge because you just can't cast it anymore. Um... So that was a little bit weird. Obviously, Nightblade mm. needed to be toned down, but they didn't give much, like, melee much consideration otherwise. Like, basically what they did is the skills that are kind of melee-ish, right, um, they kind of nerfed, and they didn't really give anything else back. So it was kind of, yeah, I don't know. Kind of weird. Yeah. I, I, don't, I didn't mm. like the change. A lot of people asking about Onslaught. Um, Onslaught, I mean, seems totally positive to me. I don't... I don't, I don't know think why it would make that much thing. of a. I mean, it, it makes Mage Blood better, yeah, which we definitely needed. So, <laughs> yeah, it just makes yeah. Mage Blood better mostly. <laughs> I exactly. was just thinking how bad Mage Blood was actually the other yeah. day. Because yeah. you already yeah. scale like... Onslaught effect in other ways right now. So, it's just yeah. full of flaws. Nothing right? that's worth yeah. the points, at least. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think from like a uniformity of like understanding skills, it makes sense as well, right? Like, I don't know why Onslaught would stand alone sure. when it is a buff. So, yeah. Sure. So, seems good. Seems good. Let's see. How do you feel about the mess that some items are uber, uber specific and some are just pinnacle specific? I mean... That's why you do uber bosses, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it's good. Yeah, I have a, I have an opinion on uber bosses in general, but... Yeah, uber bosses, well, I think, suck, dude. But... <laughs> I don't think they should exist, yeah. but that's a the... whole different thing. I mean, we could touch that. You want to touch it? I'll, I'll touch uh... anything. Um... The uh, oh, I was just a fucking layup right there. Yeah, so this, this is the problem. It's like, it's fine. I've done all the uber bosses. I've put them on full farm mode. It's whatever. But the percentage of builds that can do it, unless you're a mechanical god, are so tiny. And they very, very specifically added ubers to the game as they used the word aspirational content. And it it if it is if it has like the potential to drop some of the best items in the game if these items matter it is no longer aspirational content it is mandatory content for your build to be good to farm things right and to be profitable now i'm not sure guess, about that like there's not really anything that you unlock with uber bosses is there uh well people are saying the new uniques are on the uber bosses no no i, right? I just mean like at the start it's not like Sure, but you, you will never do Shaper, and Shaper drops certain uniques. You just buy them, right? I'm just saying it doesn't unlock anything permanent that you have to unlock once, right? I, I don't think at least. So I don't think they are necessary. It's just like, yeah, just go on, sorry. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I, it, that's, that's a good point for, like, yeah, the economy. But, I, I mean, I'm also thinking in, in, like, what that just means for the game and yeah. the, like, the and psychology the of the players, right? Yes. Where... Yeah, yeah sure. The, the, like now the question is always can this do ubers i don't want to play a build that can't do ubers 
Um, and yeah. yep. like, but the alternative is more. the alternative would be you can never make harder content, right? That would be the alternative. Mm, well, I think people have made interesting suggestions. Oh, I think you're with muted again, by the way. Sorry. Oh. <clears throat> no, I don't. I don't think I am. Oh, okay. Well, I was gonna oh, say. I, I think the last time we spoke, people had ideas about kind of like MTX rewards for doing Ubers or, or something like that, like something that signifies that you've done it, but it doesn't actually affect the, like it doesn't have better drop rates or specific items that are specifically linked to that Uber boss so that you can say, I did Ubers, but now instead, like your comment sections on a build guide are going to be, can, can I do Ubers on this? And you're like, honestly, I could give you a 20 mirror build and you'd probably still fuck it up. Because it's it's mechanically really crazy, like Uber Series. I don't know. I uh, rather rather link it to some kind of prestige than than like you're saying subtract them. It does become mandatory if there's a, a unique on it that you can only get from it. Then you're gonna have to do it if you want to get it, or someone's gonna have to do it. Yeah, I mean, it's like yeah. for myself personally, I'm fine. Like I like. I'm just thinking of like how it affects the psychology of the player base and when they're adding mechanical and like this could just be a shift for the game. And it's like you just can't mechanically if you can't mechanically do this or farm up enough currency to play the ridiculous immortal build, you will never kill this boss. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind that because it allows more skill expression and improvement for the player, but that is a shift in the content of the game, right? Like previously when Previously, when Uber Elder was the hardest thing in the game, any, any, there's like so many 20x builds that could just do Uber Elder without really knowing the mechanic really well, besides like just don't stand in Shaper's Beam. But now it's getting to the point, like Uber Sierra specifically, like he, he is a, he is a cluster. And it's like, it's got a deep, it's got a soft DPS check. You gotta like, you gotta be really on top of, of your mechanics, unless you have like a really, really expensive good build. And like you know, maybe they just want more skill expression, more mechanical complexity. But that is a an absolute shift, I think, for the mentality of the player base. Where I think the expectation is like, I just want to close my eyes and blast. And even when I summon Uber Elder, as long as I got you know twenty a twenty x build, I'll be able to do literally all the content in the game. Um, so it's it's a it's a different approach to adding new. It is content annoying. To the game. I'm not going to deny it. Of course, it's annoying, right? Like when people ask you, because the way you make a leak starter is you kind of make it as comfy as possible while still doing the most amount of content that it needs to do, right? And in order to be able to do Ubers, you would have to lose a lot of quality of life, right? For raw power. Um, so it is annoying because most builds would look completely different if you actually want to make them Uber viable, right? And mostly it's also just stacking divines or being good at the game, right? That's mostly it, right? Like knowing how to play. I think it's just mostly for hardcore players and it's just going to be annoying for every, like every content creator is going to get those questions. And the answer is always the same. If you're asking, probably not, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. When the Ubers came out, I feel like that replaced the, can my, can this build do wave 30 simulacrum? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Geez. Yeah. Wave 30 simulacrum was <laughs> the thing. It's like, well, no, I've done wave 27 and I, not, not good enough. Not bad build. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Any other chat questions? Let's see. Is that an Uber issue? With Let them roll in. Talk about the remove unique jewels. Yeah, we did. We did. Yes, this will all be on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe that's a good place to do Q&A in the YouTube comment section. <laughs> Arguably the worst place to do <laughs> Q&A, I'd say. But, you know. But is everyone what excited is... overall? Everyone's stoked for League Sot. Um, I'm warm. stoked. I'm yeah. stoked. But I'm on the also... same note, after last League with the, uh, I would say, you know, tumultuous League start that first week and a half, two weeks, uh, I, I, I don't want to be like all in. You know, I'm not allowing myself to be all in, but yeah. I am excited. I, I want to get the game to a place where cynical people, like people who comment cynical stuff on YouTube get not up upvoted anymore. Yeah, that's, that's what that's I would agree. Yeah, 100% yep. agree. Yep, I've yeah. been uh, shadow banning quite a lot of people this league. Like, I, I will take criticism and, and discussion and disagreement, but if you're just saying 
uh ten cent overlords are ruining path of exile ggg hates you i think chris wilson is trying to sabotage his company like you are so far gone like and if you're writing yeah. a 70 page essay on reddit and like literally 70 pages about how much the the game is bad like at the end of the day this is just entertainment it's a video game don't like come on man like dude if you get hit by a bus tomorrow are you gonna want the last creative output of your entire life to be a 70 page diatribe about some video game like <laughs> that's just it, it's just sad man just a game yeah there's so many games play soul stone survivors it's great oh, yeah yeah i mean most fun. people don't want to play a different game right they're just they, they're just concerned like there's a yeah. long they have a long journey in this game it, like it, it affects their life like it's the same thing where, like people say it's just pixels right like what you make important in your life is up to your own decision. Like no, nothing really matters in reality, right? Like a painting doesn't matter if you don't give it any meaning, right? So it's like, sure. But at the same time, I totally understand people who want to cling on to PUE being good instead of going somewhere else, right? I totally get that. Mm, yeah, so that makes I sense. always prefer people being more vocal than they have to be and just filtering out the people that are unreasonable other than like whenever there's no pushback anymore you know the game is dead right yeah I and mean, criticism is good like i actually think there was oh, a totally. lot of constructive criticism at the beginning of this league like a lot of stuff felt bad i think most of the criticism that was not you know getting you banned from path of exile because you were going absolutely bonkers um it was a, much of it was fine it felt bad i was complaining like i i hit uh i hit maps i had like 10 chromes 10 chromes and like three fusings. I was like, what the fuck did they do? Like, this feels bad. Um, <laughs> like, this was the most negative I've ever been. I agree. It's totally okay to be passionate about a game and think things are are bad and do constructive, good feedback and even be sad about it. But when you write, like, there is a certain line where you just, you, you go over the line and like, you know, when you're just ranting and going crazy and your entire happiness is based on how much loot you're getting in the video game. Like it, there's just there's a certain line where I think it's just unhealthy, um, like I, and I, I, mean, I, I was, I'm gonna st I would stand by that. There were some insane you, comments sorry. out there. No, that's all yeah, of say. course. But usually you yeah. can feel the temperature by certain content creators who are usually very positive mm -hmm. about everything. And if if they like s switch, then you're like, oh, wait, there's there's something clearly happening here. Some <laughs> some threshold has been uh, like Ziggy did not look happy, for example. Like he did not no. look happy last league. Um, so yeah, stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And then it was, I guess it was a if, weird time. If you get really, really bored of POE and it just upsets you too much, you can just become like a stocks trader, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wait. That's a bit this of a. Getting, this is getting spicy worry. too quickly People for me. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I'll just pretend like I don't know what that means. Who? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, that the, the yeah, but we would have never gotten the Gazi tough. clip. I think last league being shit was worth because we would have never gotten that Gazi clip. It's shit, Bro. and I don't it like it. That was yeah, actually worth. So yeah, good. that's true. That's so that true. was worth. <laughs> uh, just that one moment. <laughs> just that <laughs> one moment. All right. Is there anything else? Are we? Uh, no. Have we capped it? I think Are we capped it. Uh, yeah, I want to go play some PoE actually. Really? Yeah. yeah. Prepping? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Um, cool. Should we do the around the around the room? Yes. What's that? Uh, I am local hole, and I have a YouTube. It's local hole, and my Twitch is local hole, and my Twitter. There we my go. My God. <laughs> and my SoundCloud. <laughs> <laughs> do you update the SoundCloud? I do. Yeah, there's oh, like okay. 12 songs on there. You can Ooh. listen to them. They're all free. I think you can even download the songs. They're great. Oh, well, there it is. I, just I know you can't out. download them. I'll enable downloads. All right. Palstron? Um, I'm Palstron everywhere. So follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, all of it right now. Click on it. I don't know. <laughs> Sub? This is my channel. You're already here. <laughs> Easy. I, was gonna say, I, always, I always feel weird about doing that one but, but you know if I you've did never anyway, been to right? twitch.tv slash subtracting you should check it out follow like comment yeah. subscribe and uh i'll see you next time yeah yeah it's it's um, always weird because like these never work i don't know if you guys it, something it, to it, check. It, it's like 
so you raid somebody and they like shout you out and it's like you got one follower it's like wow wow let's <laughs> fucking go and you dude get, yeah. uh, roped into a <laughs> 10 like, minute conversation because... while you're like i just want to go pee man and if you yeah. if you open everybody your, you, wants to yeah, go yeah. back to gaming nobody cares about like going to a channel <laughs> and subbing or like following that they don't know right like Unless and if like you huge, open up your YouTube like video huge. with saying, yeah. uh, here's my YouTube statistics. I've noticed that only 23% of you are subscribed. Oh, God. I that will unsubscribe from you if uh, if I am subscribed. I am, you are. Now it's 22. Let's now it's 22%. Sorry, get <laughs> fucked. <laughs> you are unsubscribed. Get the fuck out. Very true. <clears throat> yeah. um, anyway. Anyway, I'll guess. round it off. Amasid, you can catch me and, and my beard uh, at youtube slash amasid and uh amasid gg on twitch sweet that's it anomaly it's gonna be a hard, ruthless event okay bye <laughs> turn it off quickly <laughs> wait i had to slip in a thing i did it really badly though Sorry, don't what? worry just just watch the vod don't worry it's yep fine. this will be going on youtube we're gonna put this on amasid's youtube <laughs> yes yes, yes it's, it's gonna be, on it'll be up on youtube probably tomorrow are we still on or can we talk uh, start shit talking now yeah, 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 yeah. Shit talk about people. So shit talk. Oh, still on you my want. bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Still on. Oh fuck. <laughs> Exposed. That was fun though. This is really fun. All right. Thank good. you, everybody. This was a great time. Hell yeah. All right. Alrighty. Goodbye, chat. All right. Bye, bye, bye. everybody. I'm gonna end bye -bye. the call. Bye, chat. All right. Bye. bye.